turn her back. Let me. We know that and they gonna that nigga. radio and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. And they gonna wake that nigga. And they gonna wake that nigga. Around radio, latalklive.com. Hottest radio in the world. It's your boy, Speed Doggy Dog. It's my. No, it's not. Damn, I already had a birthday party. I'm supposed <laughs> to celebrate all month. That's right. Okay, it's my birthday, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's Poetess. It's your girl, Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. 123 Knox. Baby. <laughs> wow, I heard you guys uh, all had a great y'all, weekend. Y'all, y'all want to let us just kind of breathe a little bit? No, I want to jump right into <laughs> it. Yes, she does. That's what she said. Look here. Uh, it was a fun week partying with you and celebrating your birthday ever since thank you. last Wednesday. Thank you. Yeah. I yeah. hit. Now I play ball. Oh, yeah, people come in here. Hey, speak ain't shit. I played. <laughs> I was nice in high school, could dunk, do all that. I don't believe that. So, um,. One of my working people I used to work with, but they don't want to pay me now. Uh, <laughs> Gary Payton, bet me and Louis Dix, really. I heard but about that. we'll scratch Louis for now. It's my story. He bet me <laughs> that I couldn't make a three pointer at, at Fox House right. for a thousand dollars. I said, nigga, for a thousand, I'm gonna jump me in the hoop. <laughs> I got at the top of the key. I'm gonna walk y'all through this. I'm at the top of the key. This is at Fox's three on three tournament. Three on three tournament. tournament. It's packed. It's this about weekend, seven hundred people looking at me. Oh, lights Lord. is cast. Oh, in. God. The women are going, go speed it. Oh, Thank my God. And what dream was this? So I take three dribbles. One was like rhythm. Dribbles, oh, there's God. a B in there somewhere. No, <laughs> not, in this, not in this story. It's like two N's and a W. Okay. <laughs> I took a dribble. Boom. Took another dribble. In my mind, it's like, Speedy, you need this thousand. You need it. You don't get it, though. It's for the charity, right? Can I finish my story? Please do. I'm waiting. Sexy Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'll take that. I've been called worse by that. <laughs> so I take the second drove like, come on, speed. Now it's starting to look. I start feeling the pressure because everybody's looking. They literally stopped the music. They stopped everything. Really? So sweet. I'm like, if I miss this shot, this I'll dude. never hear the end of it. You won't. I won't. Took that third dribble. I look Dribble. up at the rim with the W. I look up at the rim. I, when I say I let it go, P Dog, it rolled off. See, it's something about bat- the ball has to roll off to the tip. The Teeter, release. you know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That release. So I let it go, and it was in slow motion. You can see the ball turning. And I was going, please go in. If you go in, I'm going to the mall. If you go in, kids, I knew it. I'm going to go get the kids something. It hit I'm nothing Bobby but the bottom of the net. And I took off running. And I just remember I felt like I was floating. I was like, I got a $1,000. Yes. So then I get back and said, JP, get my money. It's going to charity. I was like, no, no. The kids' mama named charity. But no, 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 no. <laughs> so you lost the money. He ain't gave it to me. <laughs> I still ain't got it. He ain't, he ain't go to the charity. Oh, he didn't give it to the charity? No. You going to put him on blast like that? GP. It was only Saturday. Doesn't he get a period to no, send in the money? No, and it's only you pay it. all your bills on time. Exactly. That's not the point. I won the bet. Had I lost the bet, they would have clowned me on time. I bet you that. Mm. <laughs> They'd have set me set my ass on fire. So it was great. Uh, Fox ended up raising five hundred thousand for the uh, boys' home in uh, Woodland Hills, which is kind of weird because there's a boys' home in Woodland Hills. Yeah. But yeah, it's, and these guys they got five hundred thousand. It was a nice event too. I haven't been over there in a while, and it was really fun. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah. I heard you guys broadcast it <laughs> yeah teeter you want to take that one <laughs> it's not my turn yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was uh an experience i showed up and it was the energy was amazing and i saw reach around representing at yeah. jamie's house they actually awesome said our that. name they said i know it was, it was it was team we got shout outs we Man. got shout outs yeah wow sure. made not know Oh, it's Vitra. No, I'm talking about I mean, go it was, for it. It was nice to see that because yeah. you never really know like what the environment's going to be. You know what I mean? Because like, we used to be there. Now we're not. And the show was really doing really well. And and as usual, Claudia came in with usual. her. <laughs> Claudia came with her basket of buddy females. I mean, these women were on 
fire. And they, they came down a little step, and I looked up and went, I know all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Had a wind machine, slow motion, prop lighting. It was I heard Miracle was rolling through, too, with her I crew. didn't see her. Cause she's uh, my niece. So I didn't, I didn't <laughs> she was right. invisible. She's pretty much invisible. I see her. The one little girl is cute. The, the thick one. What's her name? Kalika. Honey. Yeah, she's the dime piece. So. Mm. And there are a lot of people in the house. A lot of celebrities. A lot of people participated. Denzel showed up. Denzel, Sean Marion of the um of yeah, Dallas with his, Mavericks, with his Tyson hair. Chandler. They d- both donated a nice amount of money. I heard right. Uh, Tyson put the most up. He did thirty. He did. Mm-hmm. Wow, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Um, um, shit, you should have told him to click on to our Facebook yeah, fan page. Donate. Uh, <laughs> Barry Bonds was there. Yeah. Um, Shamar I mean, Moore, shirtless. With his shirt off the whole time. Yeah. The whole The whole time not, he was checking. Not kind of, the whole time. And he had a tattoo it's, on his back. It's amazing how you noticed all that. He wouldn't, he let oh, everybody know. But then he got in the pool. He was the only one in the pool and he had some white linen pants on. So shout out to Shamar Moore for the, uh, and y'all, you show. hovered around him the whole time. I didn't hover how around him. Potatoes? I was talking to him about something. Oh. No, it's question. not like that. Someone, we asked you, someone asked you a question. Huh? How many potatoes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the water ain't I don't no know. joke. The water's a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 nah, but he looked great though. So, good looking guy. Would you date him? I used to have the biggest crush on him when I was working over at CBS. I would see him in the hallways when I was on Price is Right. He was on Young and the Restless. And I was like, damn, he's so cute. So. Are you older than him? No, I'm not. He's in his 40s. 40 something. Shut up. I'm 38. Okay. 38. If you want to be okay. 38. Listen, now, Peter, I'm, I'm very open how was your weekend, Peter? Really? First and foremost, I'm going to give a big shout out to Jamie Foxx for a beautiful gala event and letting us host the event mm-hmm. the whole time. Cool. And Jamie Foxx did ask, he's like, man, where what poet is at? I said, you know, she had to go up north to visit her family. He said, well, make sure that she gets one of my shirts. So here's oh, your shirt. Oh, really? I yeah. was thought of. <laughs> we, we were actually going to put the bumps in them, but we figured once you put it on, there you go. Bumps, Aww, bumps in the shirt. Thanks. He oh, said, now nice. you guys should be squared away for Denver. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear nothing else about it. And no more crying. There's no crying and being left out the limo in Denver. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the event was sponsored by Arm- Under Armour mm-hmm. and EA Sports. Under Armour. And when I tell you that everyone was in the house, every- even Jim Gray. Yes. Announcer Jim Gray was in the house. Uh, Jamal, Jamal Wilkes. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jinx. That's a dude, that's a dude thing. <laughs> so, fan man. man. I saw King Sunny Black there too as well. Yeah, he yeah was King Sunny Black came over and gave me some love. I appreciate it. <laughs> King Sunny Black, bitch. <laughs> man. Um, Go right no, that No, nigga. the whole <laughs> cast from uh, New Jack City. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Christopher Williams. Was he Chris, there? Christopher Williams was there. Uh, Vanessa he still looks Williams. Good, huh, yes. Yeah. Look. That a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Almost turned look. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but he was mad cool. Vanessa was mad cool. And then uh, uh, my man. Um, a couple of basketball. Played G Money. Uh, Alan oh, Payne. Alan Payne came yeah. and he did his line. Did he really? And I, my, my brother's keeper. Hilarious. Yeah. Off the chain. And then yeah. a few of the Lakers were there as well. Yeah. Matt Barnes, Matt Derek Barnes. Fisher. I, I was clowning the hell out of Matt Barnes. Really? And we interviewed Penny Marshall. Pen- oh, wow, yes. Nice. Penny Marshall. Penny, Penny Marshall. Robert Ory and uh, Lamont Murray. Mm-hmm. It was a lot uh, of people there. Man, it was so many people. It was, yeah. it was off the crowd. chain. It was, I had a fun. Yeah, I had a great Snoop time. was there. Oh, yeah. Snoop. Snoop. Definitely Snoop. Definitely a, he carries a, a smoke jar. <laughs> I don't know if I'm throwing him under the bus. He carried a jar. with It's bling jar. And it has weed. It has the... And he just pops him out. He be like, hold up, dog. I let may. me get this here right quick. So yeah, Snoop was on the court. So then Fox made an announcement. Uh, Snoop, your room is ready. So and then he, they walked off the man, court, went to the room. It was and when I tell you, room. it was like uh, a smoking chimney. That room was popping. <laughs> that's was popping. where I would have been. You know, yeah, if yeah, I was, was there, yeah. that's where you would have been. So everybody who walked by that room got a contact. And luckily, it was a dessert table set up in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> get, your, um, get your little munchie um, down. May or may not have been part of that. Smoke it looks circle. like you have on like a marijuana and a hemp shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Beetlejuice. I think I'm turning into a pothead hanging with these people. <laughs> she said these people. These people. But so it, getting back get to those. announcing the event. Yeah. Now Please we know it's that. a foxhole event, yeah. whatever. Uh, suck a lot of <laughs> AKA suck a bust a whole truster. Oh wow. my God. He has a new name. No, that's his old name. 
So he's trying to be Mr. <laughs> That's his middle name. <laughs> he's trying to be, you know, he's he's trying to get his real charge. together. I'm the in charge guy. He's trying to get his real together for CNN, yeah. you know, and all that. So he got all these notes on the table, and, and none of this shit makes sense. <laughs> none of it. So me and Speedy, we just clowning. Because, you know, we got the headphones on, so we on the show. And then we got the live mics to broadcast. So we, you know, we multitasking. This dude is just doing one thing, and he can't control it. Uh, he jumping all up. You guys are so unprofessional. You guys just come over here. We're like, dude, you're saying the people's name wrong. You're saying the sponsor's <laughs> name wrong. You have no uh, pronunciation. No Undergarment. Undergarment. Like, Undergarment. Are you serious? Yeah. Man. No, no, he didn't do that. Yes. Look, yes. Uh, I'm going to tell you yeah. something. All, you know how we used to go do the shows and, and Lewis would have all these notes in front of him? He don't, that other shit's for show. Fake. He don't know Fake nothing. It. He had all these notes. And he'd do this. <laughs> See, y'all not prepared. We said, well, Lewis, who's, who's this guy right here? He called Kimball Walker John Wall. Yeah. <laughs> Poor is still like, uh, okay, and <laughs> two different people. And what else happened? So what else happened? It was those kind of. It was just those kind of blunders, and uh, blunders. I mean, it was major blunder. And Lewis it is the guy. To me, like people were uncomfortable. Somebody was uncomfortable. He was, because he, he he needs to be in charge so that he can say all the nasty stuff he needs. To say. He can't just be a team player because then. Nobody knows. But who maybe he, is. he feels like y'all are not on the team anymore, and that y'all pretty are coming much. on his radio show that's running much. shit. So yeah, he's probably was. gonna feel some but kind of way Teter, about it. But me and Teeter, we didn't care because we had this one saying. I said, Teeter, where we at? We're at the Jamie Foxx Resort and Casino live in <laughs> Panama City, Panama. <laughs> and if you want to get here, the number to call is 555-555-555. And Speedy, what's the area code? 555. <laughs> Put the one in front. Put the one in front. And so Lewis would try to kill that whole... Now, that's the running joke the whole time because supposedly no one should know in the radio world that we're at Jamie's house. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but hey, we'll roll with that. Mm-hmm. So we figured, okay, we'll come up with a little hook. So when we go to it, and this is Lewis. Now, get ready to do your piece. Yes, where, where we're we at, live Tina? here. Yes, at the Jamie Foxx Resort. We're here, so let's let's get okay. That's fine. Let's get it in. And I'm I'm Lewis. It's, that's what he's doing the whole time. Yeah. Aww, he's really? trying to kill the joke. Yeah. yeah. I hate to hear yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. He he can't. He has to be in charge, and and everyone has to be peons. He was really giving the they had girls that were there to get the notes for Lewis. Mm-hmm. He's giving them a really hard time. I'm surprised. And half didn't. man, more yeah. monkey. Yeah. What he happened? He was really impressed with what we were doing. You guys keep going. You guys are great. <laughs> Well, we were great back then, too. Yeah, we exactly. Off the chain. Nothing's changed, really. <laughs> got the cuffs off now. And had we not been there? I would have oh. been a wrap. You know what's sad? When we all had that show, we had radio kind of goals, I think. And because it was a system, it was like checks and balances. Mm-hmm. Like, we, some, you know, when someone gets out of control, there would definitely be more than one or two assassins that can kind of get at you. Right. You know what I mean? And that's what Lewis doesn't have. His, his, his demeanor in all of us was he could he could be a not a sniper but he could say some things but we would no matter how far out he would talk about somebody we would all go nah lou sit your ass down boom there's nobody to do that right but that he just worked goes. he was good at playing that when we were all working together i thought it yeah. was like a good kind of dynamic so and it was a point in the game where they opened it up to a full court so it was basically the nba players playing each other so Nate Robinson tried to come down and do a funky move. But oh yeah, he, Nate Robinson from the Celtics. Yeah. Formerly from the Celtics. Yeah, and he and exactly, and he missed the shot. And then Lewis Dick says, "Oh, that's why the Boston traded you." Wow. And what did Fox say? Fox said, uh, "Could you please turn Lewis Dick's mic off, please?" <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I'm like, Lewis, see how you kill yourself? Man. You just kill yourself for no reason. Anyone that knows a, a little tiny bit about sports knows that trade was crazy. Right. And it was the downfall of the Celtics. And it's probably a and source And these guys spot. are coming to play for free. You know, they just and coming to have a good time. And he's an amazing man. He's still right. balling cool the next team. Yeah. He went to Oklahoma City. Ford, what you got? You got something? Uh, no, Oklahoma City. Uh-oh, she got a what you do, I, I'm the only one Boston. that didn't go to yeah. the Oh, that's right. Portis went to go see her family. <laughs> Shout out to Lucky. <laughs> Shout out to Mommy, who I love. Who's I love your mom. Who's Lucky when you say that? That's my mom. Oh, that's your mom's nickname? You haven't met her? No, her name is Fortunata, but it means Lucky. So we call I just say mom. I said four focus. She loves my mom. That's what the, she let's does. Do it. That's what she loves. Runny tables, no. She loves. Um, we might, I want to rent for next month, so I need her to come. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> I, yeah, she she's a, she gets it. What's in. her game of pleasure? She plays uh, Hold'em, Texas Hold'em. Poker. Oh, okay. Yeah, poker. So. Right, so did she do this when you were little, or this? All my got... life, my whole family's oh, been gambler's. I'm wow. the only one. Even Tasha. Tasha too. <laughs> <laughs> Call Tasha. What does Tasha do? Tasha do. He's, he's a he's, pimp. He's, 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 he's a, 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 a photographer. 
And he joined the unofficial Reach Around radio uh, page. And, and so did and, TDP. <laughs> and, yes, I did. And uh, Shouts out to Michelle Davey Holden. Dave was like, I know you told your brother what was up <laughs> when it comes to this room. That, I said, yeah, I warned him. But I went to the Bay. I hung out with my boy, Branford Marsalis, for wow. a minute. Oh, is he coming? Um, sure? No, he's actually he flew to New York. But um, hung out with the family and... Um, Almost got into it on my way home. This lady at the BART station, I was taking a little bit too long to buy my train ticket. And I heard something behind me goes, uh, go, um, I, what did I say she said? It's your story. We have a drug. <laughs> hell of a drug that we. Wee. She goes, oh, fuck it. I forgot what the hell the bitch So you said. almost got into a fight. Got into it. She said, um, no, oh, I can't believe this. White or black? White lady. White lady. Yeah. Guess what race? European. <laughs> <laughs> Caucasian. <laughs> and I turned, and so I took a little longer and I turned around. <laughs> you dropped your money then. Okay, bitch. <laughs> I turned around and I said very nicely, patience is a virtue. Mm. She goes, not when I'm running late for work. I said, well, it had you left a little bit earlier. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shout out to Claudia Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I live far. I live in the mountains. But don't you know we start? Uh, I know. Anyway, I almost got into anyway, a fight. I, I screwed up that story. Anyway, but when, you, when it comes back trade. to you, just let us know the rest of it. Yeah, and we'll just start the show over. I almost got into a fight at Fox's house too. By the way. Oh <laughs> my God! Well, Brand- you are Brandy? No, I didn't even oh, see right. her. Was she there? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see her. Yeah, she had the longest, biggest wig I've ever really? seen. In my I didn't life. see her at all. Well, did you see a mop what, making their way through the crowd? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was in the smoke room, and I saw Juicy J from 3-6 Mafia, and I did one of their videos like 12 years ago, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So he always shows me love on Twitter. Like, he's mad cool, and every time he says something nice, someone says, thirst alert. Like, they always clown him. Like, But he's mm-hmm. such a good sport. So in my haze, I saw him. I'm like, oh, shit, that's a homie. So I went to go say hi, but the room was so small. Yes, it was. And I guess I didn't really realize, like, my bag was, like, hitting these girls when I was getting by, <laughs> and I was, like, faded. What kind of bag did you have? I have a leave bag. Oh, <laughs> God. I don't, I'm not into all that stuff. It's, like, my own. Well, I have sure two, but not. anyways. So <laughs> I went over and said Did you move your other Louis bag out of the way? I went and said hi, and I didn't realize that I must have bumped into these girls accident- totally accidentally, you know? And so, I mean, when you drink wine, then champagne, then vodka, and then you're around <laughs> weed, it, your judgment's a little bit off. So I heard these girls, and, oh, she's so rude. She's so rude. And I was like, is there a problem, ladies? Did you smile like that? Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Whenever I get, get into a conversation, do it again, do it again, yeah. is there a problem, ladies? <laughs> Claudia's showing the Colgate smile. <laughs> Whenever I'm about to get into a conversation with someone, I always smile. Like, I always have, a, like, a, a smirk, and I think that pisses them off even more, because I never get mad. Like, I'm always, like, just like this whenever they're arguing with me. I'm like, oh, really? That's what you want to do? So she was like, you're so rude. You bumped into me. I go, sweetheart, I've drank champagne, vodka, and whatever else, and I'm in a smoke-filled room. I said, do you really think it was on purpose? And then she kept yapping off. I said, simmer down. Mm. And she kept talking. I go, don't get yourself kicked out with a smile. <laughs> and then she goes, you don't get yourself kicked out. I go, no, you'll really get kicked out. Like, seriously. And then she Hello. was running her mouth. So someone got between us. And then when I walked away, I pulled her hair. <laughs> what? Come off? Oh, a shout out to Amber Rose. Come off. <laughs> <laughs> Amber Rose. And, and Wiz Khalifa. W- Wiz Khalifa? Wiz. I love I Amber Rose. Wiz. Wiz. Yeah, we we got to take a quick yeah, we gotta break, take a, you guys. But he's, he's, he's mad cool. He's amazing. Mad cool. Amber Rose had the biggest videos. Chanel yeah. purse I've ever seen. Yes, it was huge. All was right. Huge. On Mack that note, we'll <laughs> take a quick break. <laughs> <laughs> it's Reach Around Radio on LATalkLive.com. <laughs> turn it up, turn it up. Bang! Mia! Next to car, don't worry about drinks, baby. I bought the bar. Models anywhere, I don't need an entourage. I I hate this song, but turn Turn it it up. up. Damn, they sound like another place. Uh I I promise to step back when I yell. Yo, it's Reach Around Radio. It's your boy, Speedy. I'm the poetess. It's Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. One Two Three Knox, baby. Baby. (laughs) Well, uh, (laughs) we're gonna get into some uh, hot topics. What's going on in the news? Is that how you ease into it? I like how you just put the tip in. (laughs) I'm gonna just put the tip in. It's hard to just put the tip in and then stop. Yeah, that's 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 the last time you had a penis. Mm, It's been a while. Oh, okay. How about a tip? A tip? I would never just do the tip. I don't tea. I'm not a tease like that. If you're in my Get house and you sleep in the same like bed, I'm not gonna. Speech. I don't do the cuddling and just the like spooning. Well, no, I'll do spooning after and before. But I'm saying like I think that's playing games when you have someone over and you're just like playing those kind of games. I think that's playing games. 
And you're going to like lead someone on to think that it's going down and then say, oh, I can't, I can't. I think you should already figure that out before you allow someone to be with you in they bed at crazy that. hours. I don't they think that's cool that. to do that. Mm. I'm on my period. I break out the towel. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Wow. You Catch are. Catch up on the hot dog, Speedy. <laughs> It's always, uh-huh. it's always a black tail. <laughs> Medium rare. <laughs> oh my god, that is just. It's disgusting. hard for the it's hard for the sperm should, to swim through that for some reason. Should we address? Shout out to ragu. <laughs> so that means you hit raw. So raw period sex is what you like. Yeah, they can't can't get nothing there. That's true. But what you, do you mean? You That's blood. M- motherfucker. And for those out there who don't, HIV and that shit. If you don't have insurance to get an HIV oh test, oh my god, you I'm gonna give you old. You need to be on true blood. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna give you old school. Don't way. even touch me, Hold on. Speedy. I'm gonna give you old school. <laughs> way. Hepatitis C. Shut up. <laughs> god damn. For you real? don't know if you got it or not. Cut yourself. If you don't heal in two days, then go to the doctor. This nigga but is. If your scab mm. come in two days, you good. Good looking out, Speedy. Speedy, Speedy do you prefer that. to have sex? That's the medical man model. Are you, <laughs> are you that cheap when it comes to condoms that you would rather just have sex on a woman woman's on a period than Or like, pregnant. So you would have sex with someone else almost pregnant by someone I'm else? I'm disgusted yeah. right now. Really? No, I can't front. Speedy did buy condoms on the way up to the house. <laughs> he did buy the big I don't know how many was used, but <laughs> and he when did I, buy some. And when I Let came us. in today, he looked you looked wore out, Speedy. Man, and then I get hit with some news today, but that's that has nothing to do Someone's with Someone's pregnant? No. No, someone got... <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? Did Speedy Speedy was crying. Eric Benet just showed up to my party. <laughs> I, I did call. I did reach out to Eric Benet. I emailed him. And he couldn't be here because he's out of the country working on his album. See, Speedy, I told you. Check the dedications for your name on the back. Hilarious. <laughs> you know, I don't think he's aware of all the jokes about you guys. I think so. The, the, the second time he huh? came, he was like, uh, I did hear all this. He said, dude, I'm sorry. I said, dude. Hey. It was really your fault. I did he apologize? No, you just do that sometimes. You go, hey, my bad. He sang the song and it was so beautiful that Speedy got caught up in the moment and was like, "Don't go, homie. I mean, baby. I mean, don't go, baby. I mean, homie. <laughs> Remember that? Baby, don't go. Is that what you said? Or don't go, baby. But I was speaking in the song. I wasn't speaking uh, to him. Let's, let's take a minute. Let's get ready for hot topics. Let's listen to the song for a little bit. I love this song. Femininity. Yeah. Speedy, like this song. Right. <laughs> oh, your nipples are getting hard. Look at this that. was oh. a good album. <laughs> Speedy. Oh. <laughs> You're in the love zone with Speedy. <laughs> dude, oh, dude, what's your request? <laughs> Femininity in too. the love zone. That it was is a good album. That's hot, all. He has great topics. music. Yeah. Time for hot topics, and our host of hot topics, which is all of us <laughs> as well, is the very beautiful, very uh, titties on the table. Bam. 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 Hey. Oh, OG. Okay, we're going to set it off about a, a woman was arrested for stealing a hearse with a dead body in it. Wow. Even that happens. <laughs> <laughs> a West Virginia woman is in jail for stealing a hearse from outside of a funeral home with the body in it and all. Police arrested Angela DeHart after receiving a call from. You know what happened? What? She was in the diamond lane, tried to prop dude up. He kept falling out the <laughs> Well, the owner of the stolen 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood. Oh, that's the one. Drone. That's killing your car, Speedy. Containing the corpse of an 85-year-old woman. Um, he called 911. She was arrested and uh, admitted to the crime. So she was later arrested. So stolen two No, problems. this is the cold part. Her neighbor, somebody spotted her rolling around town in the hearse. <laughs> hey, Carol! <laughs> and called the police on her. Bitch, you hear me? Roll the window down. <laughs> exactly. So when somebody you get that car, spotted right? her in the hearse, tipped off the police. She was arrested and, and remained So in other in words, somebody snitched. Doesn't somebody it smell, snitched. though? A dead body would stink. Hopefully Not, they already embalmed, 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 embalmed it. Yeah. You know. But well, you know he was rolling around like, I know this ain't heaven. I it's a she. A woman actually stole it. So I know no, she I'm had the AC on. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. So the embalming fluid will stop the flies and stuff from gathering? It'll, Probably so. it'll stop it from... So. They drain all the blood and yeah. all the fluids mm-hmm. out, so I think that Wouldn't might... be weird, though? Just, no, I don't. You don't think it'd be weird to have a dead body? Oh, oh what happened was she got stranded. That's why she stole the vehicle in the first place. Her and her girlfriend got into an argument. I guess she left her there, and and the Hertz was already running with the door open. <laughs> What's a girl to do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign from God. Exactly. <laughs> There's my ride. <laughs> so she jumped in and took it and and bounced. I would love to get those two girls on here for squash the beef. Wouldn't that be, that would that would be amazing? <laughs> yes, that and would. And forget you, Claudia. Somebody was here last Thursday 
and I was going to get some of my car. And they were like, where are your Benz at? I was like, anyway, I don't have an 86 Benz. It's, I'm sorry, BMW. <laughs> um, Moving on. Oh, okay. <laughs> an a Alabama town offered, in this Alabama town, they offer nonviolent offenders the choice of going to jail or going to church every Sunday for a year. Wow. Going <laughs> to jail or going to, to church. church every Sunday for a year. Speedy, which one you going to jail or going to church? Get food in jail. <laughs> that food in church too. <laughs> That's I know true. it's a cracker. Uh, well, they sweat even money in church. Yeah. Pay them tides. I'm at the pay tides. Well, I'm at the, which one you pick, Speedy? Going to jail or going to church every of, Sunday? Girls you can get at in jail, a lot of dudes in prison. <laughs> you got no car to drive away from you. What's it going to be, Speedy? I'm going to church. Are you sure about that? I'm going to hallelujah. Final answer? That's what my kids the call it. The fact you had to hallelujah. think about it for a minute leaves the door wide open again. Mm. Wow. Well, it's wow. not that. It, it, I think if it's going to be a punishment, and I know you're going to finish the story, I think if you're going to do that, it has to be a church that, like, in other words, if you Catholic, you have to go to a Baptist no, church. No, well, actually, they're Catholic. allowing Catholic. you to choose Flick. whatever T church. Is Catholic? There's a T in there somewhere. You said Catholic? Oh, that's a new organization. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the uh, Catholic Church of Latter Day Saints. Right. <laughs> Catholic. We are going Wednesdays. <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> Sweetie. Anyway. Well, they let you choose your church, so you can so go, to you church, go to whatever church, to wherever your Catholic? place of worship is. Or you want to go to Netflix? <laughs> you guys are silly. They said yes. the city judge in, will let misdemeanor <laughs> offenders choose to work off their sentences in jail and pay a fine or go to church every Sunday for a year. If offenders select church, they'll be allowed to pick the place of worship, but must check in weekly with the pastor and the police. Wow. <laughs> pastor police. <laughs> I think that's great. If the one-year church attendance program is completed, the offender's case will be dismissed. Now, and what I wonder, I don't know if it says in that story, mm -hmm. um, who, who's <laughs> able to go, I mean, what, what type non -violent of Non-violent offender? offenders. Okay. Yeah. Traffic, jaywalking. <laughs> Stealing. Stealing. Mystery, yeah. 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 Not Stealing Minor nurse. crimes. Yeah. Smoking weed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Hey. Maybe. Hey. Speaking of smoking weed, um, a woman was uh, stopped at L.A. Well, not L.A.X. In Chicago, in an Atlanta airport. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> after she passed security checkpoint, they called her back to search her afro. Wow. So she had already gone by. She had already gone by. She was about and to board the said, plane. Hey, you! Angela you with Davis. the hair! Angela Davis, come here. <laughs> and she had to come back. And they had to come back. They went through her afro. They, you know. Did they find Went dig Digged into her scalp. They didn't find anything, but she was very upset and offended, and I think she's probably gonna lawsuit coming. So if you had a, a huge natural, what would you hide in it, Portis? You, you know. know. Okay, no. All right. I would be like coffee and hide some razor blades in that shit. You remember? Oh uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> was I, it Foxy? What movie yeah, was it? Coffee. It was coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Uh, what would I hide? Claudia, who would you hide? Um. Probably some lotion, because I'm always ashy. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you know why? I'm always in a rush, and I take extremely hot showers. Uh -huh. And so I always just leave the house without putting lotion on. And whenever I go to the airport, like it's like three ounces and mm -hmm. less you can have. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring my good lotion, so yeah. I would probably hide the lotion in my afro. So I would Teeter? stop my ashy heels. Speedy, I'm not even going to play that game, because <laughs> when we went on that first tour... Every city we went in, they always put me in that damn bullpen. Oh, I got pictures <laughs> of you. Check. Yeah. I would so take Speedy pictures. and Claudia peeking around the corner to see if I'm going to go to jail. Or not. <laughs> it was always a crapshoot. Yeah. So it was all, you know, brother, it ain't nothing serious. They just pat you down, you be on your way. Why so. you? Every single time we went through security. Because I fit the profile. You always behind. I fit the profile. Shoes dark, off, dark hat off. So I'm not going to put nothing in Wait, my Wait, what about no, the no. time Lewis did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this nigga, we Suck go through <laughs> airport security. This nigga takes off all his clothes. Mm -hmm. his no, pants, he did not. Yes, he his did. Pants, Down to his pants. Everything. Yeah. Oh, why? This was when I was gone. He didn't want to be searched. You so he took everything off. Yeah. He took off his pants. Yeah, right? on his he was making himself look <laughs> suspicious. Yeah. He didn't want to be touched? He now, didn't want to be searched. And he took off his pants and was just like in his shorts. Oh, in South Carolina, they stole my phone in South Carolina. So mm -hmm. I'm raising hell. Mm -hmm. So the dude come from upstairs, you know, where they, where they watching or whatever. He say, oh, don't worry about it, sir. We got a picture. Of, it was an old lady who stole my phone and gave it to some kid. What? So the that police, work for them? 
No, no, they was behind me in line. Like I said, they always put me in the bullpen, so I didn't get a chance to get my stuff. <laughs> oh, and they took yeah, okay, they took gotcha. my phone. No, he's on deck. Right. So he mm-hmm. came out, was like, well, you know, we apologize. We got the picture of the lady. We'll, we'll mail you your phone and everything. And I had to pay thirty dollars to get my goddamn phone back for one day mail. How long was it missing? Uh, two days. Two days. But that was the day they were trying to get me to go through that new machine thing. Oh, where see everything? See everything. I said, I'm not going through that. I want a pat down, homie. Yeah. You're not just going to just make me do that. Oh, he wants a pat down. So then they start, yeah. They see all your genitalia and everything in that thing. Right. Yeah. That's a real dick pic. Because we did a, did a <laughs> guess what race story where the one guy was harassed for a year because they could see how small his junk was. Yeah. yeah, and, you, right, yeah. and you don't have to go through that. You can... Uh, request a pat down. You do not have to go through that machine. The pat downs are so invasive. They're like I like pat down. It's like they just be all <laughs> in you. Like they them. be all up in I your do, shit. I do because the girls do it. Many time when uh when uh camp counselor got her pat down, yeah. poetess. Yes. And uh she's like, oh my god, I've never had that before. <laughs> no, the, I mean they go up your little yeah cooter yeah. snatch. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. They do. They go up I saw your, it. They go by your wire on your titties. And too. they <laughs> go all up in. Because you have that wire under your titties, right? On your, you have the bra with the wire in it? Yes, I do. Do you, Speedy? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Next story. Next story, please. While I was up in the Bay Area, I heard about this story going on at UC Berkeley where these re- mm. this Republican college group is doing this bake sale. So they're selling pastries at different prices based on your race and gender. What the hell? So the white people, their pastries are $2. Black people's pastries are $0.75. That's and right. Native Americans, $0.25. Cents. And they're doing this protest. They're protesting against um, the university's policy and considering, you know, ethnicity in admission. So this so Republican words, group is against it. So they're doing this diversity bake sale to uh, to protest. So what are you saying that the white college students are being charged more? No, I think if I'm I'm not real clear on the policy, it's the um, SB 185 bill, um, okay. a bill that lets the University of California and California State University consider ethnicity in student admissions instead of uh, just your academic mm-hmm. ability. They're countering in your so, race. A lot of white people get angry about these affirmative action Europeans. kind of things that are set up to help get diversify the population. But the fact of the matter is, if there wasn't a need for it, we would never have to do it. Mm-hmm. If they fairly admitted blacks, African, and, never and, and Indians, and all kinds of other minorities, we wouldn't have to have these things, just like we wouldn't have to have the Miss Black America pageant if they would allow us to be judged the same way, like, you know, the, the same opportunities. So I've been hearing that a lot, a lot of rumblings about this. Did you ever run in the, uh, Miss Black? Okay. No, I was in Miss USA though. How'd you do? I, I won my um, state and I uh, made top seven in the country. Mm. Put seven. that on your pizza pump. Yeah, seventh in Miss USA, 1997. There's videos on 19 YouTube. 97, long time <laughs> and ago. How old were you then? 23. Four, you don't know, man. Come on, Speedy. Forget about but anyways, it. Uh, but yeah. He took his shoes off. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of the students. I mean, I guess I would understand if I'm a white student and my grades are okay, European. and then I, I feel like you know an African American or an Indian person got in because they were minority and maybe we had the same kind of grades. But there's so many other factors that keep us down. Like, we have but, a lot more to do. But, you know, with. their thought on it is, look, that happened back then with my grandparents, grandparents. I'm not like that, so why do I have to deal with this now if that is something that happened back then? Yeah. Well, it's so. carried over. You know? Yeah, it's residue. It is what it is. What you got for us, Pete? Um, also, I was reading cocaine uses mm-hmm. down in New York, which is a good thing. A lot of people are you know, crediting the economy because <laughs> niggas can't afford to buy them $80 sacks or whatever. A Ain't no more blue magic. It says a gram of cocaine typically magic? sells Frank for Lucas. 60 to $80. So I guess people can't afford that. And they're basing it on the fact that there's been um, a couple hundred less deaths um, um, reported in New York from cocaine overdose. There's less people getting treatment. So they feel like less people are using cocaine. Cocaine use is down, but herpes and syphilis is up. <laughs> wow. New York has a very high rate. Very much so. That's why I don't fuck in New York. That's why you don't fuck? New Jersey is on. Nigga, if you <laughs> fuck somebody on a period, <laughs> you'll do anything. Oh, my God. You asked me to. I didn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Wow. Uh-oh. The truth nah, comes Reach out. around radio exclusive. What? Now, let's get it out there. Do, Addy, the do beat. tell. Do tell. You said, I'm on my pier. I said, hey, P, it don't matter. You Speedy, was it a light flow day or heavy? It was heavy. Really? You wow. Were there, huh? there were particles. In this nigga's particles. dream. There were particles. You oral sex? You are No, I don't have, I don't have my red wings. So it was weed seeds in it. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends recently had that done to her. 
Yeah, you I don't, are so that nasty. white dudes do that. During her period, Brothers it was, don't do no, that. it was a black guy. Like he a was, gangster Who was this type. in the house? Is that the Barracuda? Uh oh, oh we got company. The we real got company. Exclusive. We have company. Reach around radio. Exclusive. You never know who's gonna come through. What's up, W? What's going on with it? Please, everyone, welcome. West Coast. Legend. Barracuda, the jankiest. Uh, what to do, what to do. Dub season, the dub season, the pizza. How you guys feel? What's going on? Thanks What's for, up, thank you for dub? coming out. <laughs> it out. What's going on? Who is cracking? <laughs> Trying to hold my voice up. What's up with you? We we just here. We were going over some hot topics and like what? um, we were talking well, about cocaine how... use is down. Oh no, it, no, <laughs> yeah. I, I cocaine use is down uh, in New York. And yeah. he had cocaine? sex with the girl yeah. on her period. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, hit, I hit some on the period. Oh God, <laughs> that's just so hey, funny. Man. He puts ketchup on the hot dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a blood. <laughs> he ran a light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely running the red light. <laughs> ran a light on the red light. Because I ain't got to worry about nobody calling. Going, you know, you know what you do. Was you that? just tell them you was hitting it that hard the way you made it come down. There it is. Damn. See, I told oh, it's wisdom. God. That's yes. wisdom. Trust That's me. wisdom. That's wisdom. Got a magnum. That's all I carry. Speedy, no, you don't. The car? <laughs> <laughs> she said, please, let she know. Yes. I mean, I heard, man. Ain't that a bitch. Oh, okay. He she does have eight kids. The female ele- elephant in the room told me. Wow. <laughs> female <laughs> elephant So, Doug, what have you been up to? Uh, what's going it. on with you? Um, <laughs> She's working. Working hard. Working hard, you know, been doing a lot of shows, touring, um, pushing the independent movement out there to all the artists that's trying to get in in the game right now, letting them know that you don't have, you don't need a major label, mm. you know, so you strive for a major distributor, but you don't need a major label to put your record out. You can put your own self out. Um, so we just out there pushing right now. Got my album out on um, Vic Swain, courtesy of Lynch Mob Records, which is another independent label that you got off. Um, and I mean, we just pushing the line. You know, we're out on the road right now. I just came back home yesterday. We had a spot date tour at the um, Nokia Center. Yeah, this um, past Saturday. Yeah, this How'd past that Saturday. go? Sold out. Mm. Sold out. Sold out. You know, word for word. They're singing it. The streets is the streets is there. Any yeah. listeners uh, out there want to call in, give us a call and talk to Dubsy. 323-247-7443. Give us a call and Skype, Skype, boy. Skype. Yeah. Yeah. Hit us on Skype All at that. LA Talk Live. All that. Um, now... Dub, we go way back. I know that you've been in a couple groups, Low Profile, Dub mm-hmm. Scene in Mad Circle, West Side mm-hmm. Connection, and mm-hmm. then you've also done solo work. So what, right. what do you like doing best? Um, It don't matter. It don't matter. As long as I could just be me and speak to the people out there and have creative control. Once I, if I, as long as I have creative control, I mean, it really don't matter. I mean, there's nothing that could take away the moment of Low Profile, pay your dues. You know, yeah, out there doing what we did yes, sir. with DJ Latin, mm-hmm. out there going to the East Coast and everything and shutting everything down on the turntables. Ain't no saw nobody come through there with a Jerry Curl sag and <laughs> Carl Royce doing what he did in the way we just presented it. Then with the Mass Circle, that's still for something that, you know, it was Minority Alliance of Anti Discrimination. That's when I decided to go against the grain. Like you see me now with an old brown hat on. I always, even with the beard, the braid, I always wasn't scared to go to the left, right. even with sea walking on stage when everybody was scared to do what we all True that. grew up doing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just like the Mad Circle was something. Then with the West Side Connection, that was something that got a lot of light that was done first time in history over here on the West Coast. Three individuals from different areas get together and just combine this this quote-unquote super group right now. Um, and then, you know, still going solo and pushing the line. Went over to Dev Jam. Did my thing over there. So, I mean, I I just love rhyming. I love rhyming. Now, as long as I could be me, I'm good. West Coast Connection, how many uh, albums did you guys do all together? Yeah, the West Side Connection, we did two albums. Two. Okay. We did two albums, and we sold collectively some like six, seven million on the albums right there. It could have been more, but the second album we didn't promote. Mm-hmm. We didn't promote it. It was grand opening, grand closing on the group. We shot the single. Oh, you mm-hmm. know, shot the video. Um, New Year's Eve, dropped the ball down with Funkmaster Flex. Not in New York, but in Vegas. We, we had them come to Vegas. Mm-hmm. We did it right there, and the group broke up that night. Wow. And the album came out with gold. Uh, what, 800000 It should be platinum now. The group broke up that night? That night, yeah. What? Do you want to talk about everybody just, everybody just, and it was just a lot of tension. Everybody really? just went their own ways one night and everything. But, you know, the positive thing is that, you know, it ain't no beef. Like, right, cats right. see each other on site, you know, and all and everything. It's just that, you know, you know, things just happen. Like Were there that. ever any attempts to get back together? Mm, I mean, you know, you're always going to have. You know, conversations and stuff like that through third parties. But I think pretty much when you got somebody like Q that just got a lot on his plate doing movies and stuff like right. that and everything, you know, 
if it's you know any kind of tension you know saying between um anybody in the group you know you try to work it out but then you know your tolerance level start growing real real short you know and you know it was just to me it was just time you know time for us to go to another next chapter but who knows you know what the future holds great. So, Dubsy in the house that was, have, that was the greatest combination yeah. we have a caller caller what's yeah. your name and where are you calling from hey what's up what's up t dog Hey, hey T-Dog. T-Dog. T-Dog, by the way, made a donation to our uh, Reach our Around fund. Radio Thank fundraiser. You, T-Dog. Thank you. <laughs> I get notifications every time a, a, a donation comes through, so good looking out, homie. Well, what I'm going to do, uh, every person that sets up, I'm going to match them. So just to keep it rolling, I'm going oh, to match every donation. Oh. Oh, I got like 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to email you later. You got a question for Dub C, <laughs> man? Uh, Dub C, what's up? Hello? How hey. you doing, homie? What up, what up, what up? What's the kind of guy? Kind of guy. I, I, I still love that man. I still love that. Bang. 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 <laughs> BB Bang. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really <laughs> like, yeah, write it down, punk. No, what I what I really wanted to say was, uh, aside from Dubsy, uh, I know he's there. Um, you guys are planning to make do do do, do another tour, right? Yes, sir. We are planning. Yeah, yeah we, yes, we, are. we hope so. If someone yeah. is willing to sponsor the trip, we re- we're willing to go there. Yep. Okay, no, I'm just, I'm just making sure. Uh, I'll probably, uh, like I said, I'll talk to you guys off air about that because uh, I think we can make it happen. All right. We would love to come to your city and broadcast a show. Man. We'll bring a reach around to you. Poetess gives you a reach around. Right, this nigga a blanket or something. Yeah, this motherfucker it. putting work in. <laughs> hey, yeah. T-Dog, we still need that Poetess song, man. Get oh, it together. Oh, Lord. Poetess. If he does come through, you're going to have to give up some ass. Yeah, you no got to take it for the team, Polis. You got to do what you got to do. Take one of them wires out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have another caller. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? What's up? This is Lil Rakim calling from Chicago. Hey, hey Lil Rakim. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't want to say nothing. <laughs> that was I mean, Dub C. It's my first time falling up in there, so Rakim, I don't know like what to get out. <laughs> I thought maybe them and uh, Tony had something <laughs> going on, but when they did it to you, I was like, all right, and I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't leave it like that, but it's all good. Cause you know, you know the, nah, you know they ain't in clowning. Radio, huh? And. Got a quick question for Doug C. All right. uh, Doug, man, uh, what you think of the new West Coast and Kendrick Lamar? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving what I heard so far, you know. You know, I just want to see more. You know, and I know, you know, in due time, I'm going to see that. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, there's quite a few artists out here that I'm loving, you know. And I'm just happy that, you know, that Cats is taking advantage of letting their voices be heard, you know. And it's no disrespect. See, that's what I don't like. I don't like when any body come in the game and they just disrespect anything before them mm-hmm. that's 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 not call waiting it's called waiting yeah, yeah. <laughs> we old school uh, people, yeah. people calling up shout out to magic jack are actually yeah. dialing up it's all good <laughs> Seven. But, I, but much love and respect oh. to kendrick lamar what other west coast artists do you are you still hanging out with do you still work with any of them um i mean far wise i never hung out with nobody really mm-hmm. i mean not trying to be tough guy nothing mm-hmm. like that i just i mean you know slap hands say what's up you know we might run across each other out and traffic and stuff like that, but I mean, because the places I be hanging, I wouldn't expect for a lot of rap artists to be hanging. <laughs> right. right, for real. Right, I mean, right. at the real. vineyards. Oh. Now, you're born and raised where? Tasty, yeah, you know? yeah. Born, where you yeah, born and yeah. raised? I was born on Air Force Base in uh, in Texas. Okay. You know, and my, my, and the reason I was born out there because my mother was from LA and she flew. My father's in the Air Force, mm-hmm. and my mother flew out there so I, so he could see me mm-hmm. being born. But mom's was a gangster because after a couple of days we came back to LA. <laughs> what you part? Know, uh, what part? What LA? Huh? Oh, 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 the East Side. Yeah, East so I'm 88th yeah. in Norman. Oh no, mom's, mom's, mom's. That's what mom's. Was, but we grew up. Uh-huh. You know, ever since the age of like one. Oh, okay, okay. you was right there. LA, yeah, yeah. That's right. So that's all I know. You know, that's Dove C in the house, yeah. y'all. You better you know call y'all. Me. You know we all got people from yeah. the South. Yeah, yes, uh, sir. So it's all good though. <laughs> 323-247-7443 is the number to call into if you want to talk to my man Dub C in the house. Yeah. We're going to yep. do what? We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to list, uh, listening. <laughs> listening to listening. Listening to Reach Around Radio on latalklive.com. <laughs> Tall can on the campus, off the land of the scan. Let's take a penitentiary chances. Sick with yeah. it, off the yeah. rick with it. Blue yeah, we are back. It's Fresh Reach Around Radio. It's your boy Speedy. I'm the poet. It's your girl Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. 123 Knox, baby. And special guest. Turn the mic up. 
Is, is on? Watch your tone, girl. <laughs> no, it's not on. One, two. One, two. Check, check. One, two. One, two. Dang, what happened? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, bring that one over here. T- uh, always bring that one. It's still off. Well, while we're waiting for dubs, Mike, you listen to Reach Around Radio. And um, coming up in just a little bit, we got the... Uh, Squash the beef with uh, Sonia and Ursula, the Flix chicks. Some of you guys may know them from the internet sports thing. They yeah. um, fell out, and now they're going to come back on the show and hopefully squash the, the beef. beef. I like that. Maybe eventually we can do some celebrity squash the beef, and maybe Dub like C, maybe, okay. maybe Dub C Dub and Macton and We can Q. get y'all back together again. <laughs> come on now. Yeah, he oh, said okay. there was no beef. We'll squash the no beef. We want to get y'all back together. <laughs> Could you let Richard know this microphone? He have to take something off the rent for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take a hundred and fifty off the rent. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Give me my money but now. Yeah. Fuck what you going to. So there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, lend me your ears. <laughs> Peter's sports ticker. Starting with basketball. Chow. Rome. 13-time All-Star. Five golden rings. Kobe Bryant was offered $6.7 million for one season. Contract to play in Italy. Team says that they're looking for Kobe to come to Italy and get down one time. He has four contract offers. One for one year. A deal for two months. And a one month option. So per game they're trying to give him $740,000 a game to play over in Italy. Speaking of Kobe, I read somewhere that he said that he would loan some of the players money because of the lockout if they needed that they can they'd right. be Kobe, willing to I loan need some it. of his money. <laughs> I need it, you're not brother. a player, Speedy. I play him on the game. No, you're not. So I you're thought not that about, was cool. <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> not about that well, game. he did make a thousand dollar shooter this weekend. I made a yes, jumper this weekend. He did. <laughs> so I'm officially a player. A player now. You're Kareem Abdul your candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> So that's in uh, Kobe news right there. NBA, I mean NFL, we're in week three. So all your teams, so all you guys on the chat room, on our Reach Around Radio team, Reach Around, make sure you put your um, teams and your names inside our blog so I can uh, shout you out with your teams because we got Buffalo feeding New England. I believe they won that game. Unbelievable. I'm so mad about that. I knew they were going to win. Man, I knew they were going to win. That's crazy. Buffalo has some good you know, great fans, you know, in Buffalo, just like the Jets do, but the Jets lost to the Raiders. But Brady threw four interceptions. Well, you know, Brady's not as Very what not y'all thought he was. He had, a, he had an mm. argument with Giselle or something. Right. San Francisco over Cincinnati, Cleveland over Miami, Tennessee over Denver, in overtime, Detroit over Minnesota. Impossible. New Orleans over Houston, New York football giants over the Philadelphia Eagles. Mike Vick mm. broke his hand last night. He didn't break his hand. It was actually a sprain on his no-throwing hand. But yeah. they do need to make the calls a little bit better for Mike Vick. Because yeah, he get lit. If Brady get hit or yeah. Peyton yeah. Manning get hit, it's automatic 15-yard penalty. Well, they, you know they try to say that he hold the ball too long. So yeah, exactly. It's hard. But you know, so. It's black man. Yeah, because exactly. he roll oh, out and he's not a pocket exactly. quarterback exactly. and all that old yeah. crap. Exactly. Get a man his call. Throw your flag, punk. Yeah, throw your flag, punk. <laughs> Carolina over Jacksonville. Oakland Raiders over Raiders. the New York Jets. What's Pete? your team, Dub C? Huh? What's your team? Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, okay. Let me see the y'all win. They won. <laughs> <laughs> Baltimore <laughs> over St. Louis. San Diego over no, Kansas City. No, Tampa Bay City. won. Yeah, oh, be the winner. Yeah. Don't yeah. correct me, boy. <laughs> Youngest team in the NFL. Trying to help out. The quarterback is nice. Seahawks yeah. over Arizona. Nice. Tampa Bay over Atlanta. Yeah. UFC got a win in week three. Uh-huh. And Pittsburgh over Indianapolis. They had and been. tonight's game is Washington at Dallas. With a bruise with a, with a banged up Tony Romo, right? Yeah. Tony he's, Homo. Yeah. He's still <laughs> got that right. <laughs> Freeman is nice. They was hating on him in the draft. Right. He went right. low in the draft and he shouldn't have went that low. Dude is nice. He real yeah, nice. It's all good. And in baseball, American League East, Yankees clinched uh, best league record. They don't never lose. Detroit huh? Tigers clinched. And I'm AL West, Texas Rangers clinched as well. Now the big story, the big topic, the thrown banana at Wayne Simmons. <laughs> yeah. What happened? 
Throne banana. Banana throne. Banana throne. Throne banana on the ice. London, Ontario. <laughs> Philadelphia Flyers winger Wayne Simmons. Hockey player. Hockey player. Mm. Had a banana thrown at him. Hysterical. <laughs> Thursday during a 4-3 exhibition shootout loss to the Detroit mm. Red Rings. So I want to go around the table and get everybody's opinion on the throne banana on the ice. Let's start with me. Dub C. Yes, sir. All right. You play in the sport that's predominantly... You know, white. European. <laughs> yeah, European. Colonizers. Colonizers. Yeah, whatever y'all want to call it. I say white. Bitches. You know, Devils in a blue dress. <laughs> <laughs> white rice. Hey, I, you know, if, when you play in that sport, you got to expect that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, I mean, just be glad there was a banana. There wasn't no, you know, no fire with a white sheet and all that coming out to get at you. Yeah. And everything. Mm. I mean, you got to expect it, but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't agree with it. But at the same time, too, you know, hey. He out there. It's a sport legally where he can get out there and he could bang them up. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So you know, I mean, I mean, is anybody here surprised? Now, I was surprised at how long dude held on to that banana for the right <laughs> cue to throw that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't even see this my first time. I mean, I just, just at, the, at the end of the day, you yeah. know, you knew it was coming. Yeah. yeah, you knew it was coming. It's like any black person to just be around, you know, a gang of white people and stuff Your like pain. that. You know, they're coming. You hey, know, you I know, realistically that there's, you know, that. You know, it's a lot of ignorance. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of difference. It's, it's, you know, it's a lot of misunderstanding. It's a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to cultures. They don't. They don't. You know. Right, they don't right, get it. Right. And and uh, and it's messed up when we don't get it. And we really feel that you know that they just look at us like we're one of them. Exactly. And that's unfortunate. You know. Yeah. So great you know, point, Dub C. And they don't wake that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Dub said it exactly right. And even the guy Wayne Simmons that that mm-hmm. got the banana thrown at him, he says, when you're a black man playing in a predominantly white man sport, you've got European, to come. European. Well, I'm Congress. quoting yeah. the Watch person your tone. who got the banana <laughs> thrown at Eat him. The cake yeah. anime. Yeah. yeah. The white man sport, you've got to come to expect things like that. Yeah. Now, um, um. This also happened to Kevin Weeks from Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Hurricane in 2002, a fan threw a banana at him. Mm. Right. Well, <laughs> standing so club the motherfucker just love bananas, huh? <laughs> what it is? It is I mean, it's the perfect food, really. <laughs> <laughs> nice potassium. Keeps from getting the cramp. Right. Exactly. No, don't ask me how I know about that. But anyway, yeah. the thing that people miss it on is that. Uh, he still made the goal. Right, correct. Oh, he, he made, did? Yeah, yeah, he threw the go banana. Ahead. He hit go the banana ahead. and the puck all at the same time. <laughs> all that shit went in the net. But shout out to my man. He could have went 51-50 on him, sure but he could've. didn't. Yep. And uh, I guess little props to the, uh, I forgot my man that runs the uh, NHL. But he did say the majority of his fans are not like that. But I NHL Commissioner different. Gary Bettman. Bettman. Yeah, I beg to differ. I think they're more like that because they drunk. Yeah, you talking about some motherfuckers? You know, white folks and they drank. They don't hold shit back. They. But I think people in general, a drunk yeah. speaker sober yeah. mind. Yeah. That's what I always say. Yeah. A drunk speaker sober well, mind. Well, my my thought is the same way. Claudia, I said, if you ever, Claudia, no. you ever want to know how somebody really feels <laughs> oh, about you? You right. get them drunk or you get them mad. Why y'all looking at her? <laughs> oh, I made bad decisions on liquor. <laughs> She's the new swelling. Yeah. <laughs> new I didn't hit it three times. <laughs> Baby, let's go. <laughs> In your mind. Three Lady times. Lady. We got drunk three different times. I didn't hit all players. three times. Oh, that's Lady how she know. That's <laughs> how. <yeah>. That's how. <laughs> I don't have sex with men with breasts. I don't. Oh. I don't. Hey, what your mouth said that night. No, <laughs> All you said was, put it in my mouth. Oh, Speedy, stop it. I'm going to throw up right now, seriously. I'm gonna throw oh. You didn't throw up that night, punk. <laughs> this nigga been having some hell of a dreams. And they, right? they going to what? And they going to rape that nigga. Oh, now, this is the second week in a row I've had a rape threat. Wow. I feel like fabulous. What do you think, girl, about huh? the... Uh, banana. Listen, I mean, the the fact that he had that kind of drive and focus to like see the bullshit happening and still make the goal, still like keep messing goal. with him and, and making the little monkey references. He'll go mm-hmm. ape shit on them and keep scoring goals. And Bust you know what I'm saying? He'll be mind. fine. I, again, I do expect that, but it's unfortunate that they still doing that. But lately, I, I found since Obama got in office, a lot of folks are getting very bold with their disrespects mm. of the black race. And then and look at us and go, that's not racist. Yeah. Fuck out of here. You guys are still crying mm. over that. Well, you know what? The proof is in the pudding. He still made his, he made the goals. He did his thing, and that's how we gotta beat them at their own game. Just being successful and keeping it together, and not doing what they expect us to do, mm-hmm. flipping tables. Great job. <laughs> how you feel about it, man? I feel like the banana thing was like it's very disrespectful, but at the same time, to be expected. Like, yeah, you expect that. Just like Tiger Woods in golf, you know all the things they say yeah. about him. But you know, yeah, he made, he made, a, you know, he, he had some personal issues going on, and they just oh, the, trying yeah, to shut them out. They yeah. flipped him. 
Because once they made that announcement, that Tiger Woods was the first billion dollar athlete, and that's when they they went after him. So you yeah. gotta expect this stuff, but this is the major leagues, NHL. He is a pro, so they pay him to do the job. So the banana yeah. shouldn't, you know, really affect. But should he have had his few in his locker room? And the last story in TDP's ticker. We're remembering Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown was the offensive tackle who played for Cleveland Brown. Signed in 1999. He passed away at the age of 40 years old. If you don't remember who wow. he was, in 1999, he was the guy that the referee threw the flag and hit yeah. him in his eye. Yeah. And yeah. he yeah. got a settlement from the NFL for $25 million. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Because he couldn't up, play no more after that, right? Right. Yeah. He grew up in D.C., and Ozzie Smith, the uh, Ravens GM, said that he was one of the a gentle giant. So we are remembering Orlando Zeus Brown. That's right. The Cleveland Rest of peace, homies. All right, all right. And is it true that um, Jay-Z tur- turned his team over to Brooklyn? Oh, yeah, it's going to be the Brooklyn um, Nets. Yep. Uh, are you serious? Brooklyn, they changed the name, yeah. So it's the Brooklyn Nets. I don't know exactly. Uh, maybe the next Teeter Sports ticker, I'll get the information on the stadium and when they're going to open up in Brooklyn, New York. Man, <laughs> fans are gonna be like the Raider thing. fans. Yes, sir. My they girl. gonna be like the Raider fans now. Yeah. Like open a police station Niggas gonna up be in there. Their ass beat going to them. <laughs> and that was Teeter Sports Ticker. Okay. All <laughs> Teeter. Right. Thanks, right. Teeter. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Olden. <laughs> what? The what hell that come from? We got Dubsy in the building. Uh, oh shit. Are we all ready? What, what the hell is that? Well, that sound can only mean one thing. And what's that? <laughs> Time for our game show. It's called Guess, Guess What, what Race. Today, Dub C will sit, a, sit in with us. Cinnamon. Try to guess. I'm going to read a new story. Dub C with Cinnamon. <laughs> and you try to figure out what race the person is in the story, okay? All what right. race what? What race the person is. All right. She's going to give the story and okay. you got to guess. All right, Speedy, pay attention to this one. <laughs> Total bitch. Um, no matter how old Nigga you are, black. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, Dub. The story happened in Florida, okay? No matter how old you are, there's no horseplay allowed on the beach. Police arrested a Florida man after he allegedly harassed a woman with a pool noodle before <laughs> punching her in the face. The Florida man is accused of attacking the woman after she threw his watermelon into the That's ocean. That's easy one. That's easy one. According to police reports, the woman noticed a watermelon that was carved into the shape of a head resting on the sand. She, the seemingly abandoned melon was attracting insects, so the woman picked it up, thinking the melon would eventually disintegrate, and dispose of it into the ocean. The man, however, got really pissed. He retrieved his watermelon out of the ocean, put it back on the beach, only to have it thrown in the water again. Mm. <laughs> and that's when the man used the noodle, beat the woman down. The man approached the woman with his swim noodle full of water, dumped the water on her as she was sitting on her towel, according to police. <clears throat> he then punched her in the cheek and told her that a watermelon was very important to him and that she should never touch a man's watermelon. I got it. Guess what race? On you, Doug. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go against the grain. See, I know everybody think when they say watermelon to black hey. man, but a swim noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. First of all, what the yeah, hell is a that. swim noodle? Yeah, what's a swim noodle? It's I don't know too many. It's one of those round, you know, those noodle-looking things that people, like a little know, floaty, float on when they're in the water. It's like a tube, a long tube. It's the new ones. Ain't no niggas and you can bop no swim <laughs> At least hey, no, let me I get a swim noodle cut. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, all the, valley, That's all in the valley, dude. That's all in the valley. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, so look, so I'm going to race the black race. Um, you know, and then it got mad because this nigga was carving faces and shit inside of a watermelon. First of all, you got to say, you know, who going to take the time to be on the beach carving some motherfucker? <laughs> and nigga, I, I, I know, I'm just saying, somebody black ain't going to fuck over the watermelon like that, right? That is true. <laughs> I can't even uh, give my answer now. You know, I mean, am I lying? You're no. not lying. You're not lying. You know, plus there wasn't no chicken with that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no Marlon. Now I'm teasing, but uh, on the real, I'm gonna go with um, you know, motherfuckers like to carve shit up and everything. You know, I gotta be. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna go white. White. Yeah, that was white, white. Final answer. Final answer. White. White. White, okay. final answer, white locked white. in. Okay. Potus. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Did you say where it was? Florida. I'm going to go with, um, dang, I want to say Jamaican. Mm. Jamaican, now, why? Interesting choice. 
Because there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of them out there, and yeah. they do stuff like that on the beach. They sell coconuts <laughs> and watermelons. Wait, 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 wait. You're they talking do. like you, you're speaking from experience. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been to the beaches they of do, Miami. They Watch do not, not bananas, but coconuts. Coconuts. So you're saying that Jamaicans, they have a love of carving things. Hey, hey, they got skills. Them niggas good with the machetes, though. <laughs> That's true. Jamaican, That's final, true. Answer. Jamaican, Jamaican final answer. Jamaican final answer. Final answer. I'm Speedy. Go, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go against Dub on this one. I'm gonna stay with Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Okay. Leroy, okay. Jenkins. All right. Stay with Leroy. Teeter. I'm gonna go with Tony Montana. Tony Montana. I thought about Cuban. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm Cuban. Tony Montana. What about you? Who you rolling with? Oh, I can't because I. I She's know the host. The I, wish, I wish I could oh, play. Oh, she see the answer. Huh? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. It's her test. <laughs> okay. The man who was... Uh, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. The man who was a woman beater but a watermelon lover was a 68, 68-year-old white man named oh. Carl Ludwig Eichner. Oh. Oh, see? I think hey. that's German, actually. Yes, hey. yes, hey, yes. There we Good go. job. The Dumb guy. Carl, come in and just lucky. get him off. Got lucky. should have known that, that noodle. What is it called again? A noodle. Swim noodle. Swim, swim noodle. noodle. I mean, never even knew what that is. Nobody okay. with no kind that's of swag. Where, that's where uh, Dub no got, kind of, where Dub got his main clue. Ain't nobody with no kind of swag going to be walking around no goddamn swim noodle. Yeah, black folks ain't going to fuck up no watermelon for no bullshit. Okay, ready for the next? No more going to be carving that shit. That's true. We're not going to waste melons. No. No. Okay, next story. Again in Florida. Mm. A Florida man shouted obscenities at officers that interrupted him as he tried to pull out one of his own teeth, and he was charged with breach of the peace. Mm. Police said they responded after his wife called 911 and said her husband was drunk in his garage attempting to remove a tooth with a pair of pliers. The police say they observed him attempting to extract his tooth, and there was vomit on the floor from his attempts. The man who admitted to being drunk allegedly began cursing loudly when the officers questioned him and refused their request for him to calm down. He was arrested for breach of peace. Guess what race? White. Dubsy, go on with white. I'm going to go with white because n- n- niggas know when the police <laughs> come. <laughs> get it together. Yeah, we get it together. Plus, we don't, if we're going to try to pull our teeth out. Or some shit like that, you know, for whatever crazy reason. We ain't going to do it with no goddamn pliers. Mm. <laughs> I'm just real. String you know, in the door. Ring, go string the door. in the door. Oh, you're going <laughs> old school with that. Okay. String in the door. Shit. European so, final answer? European. European. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to go with white, too. I just saw saw, uh, saw the mm. final chapter, and uh, it was a white man in there doing They like that, okay. Pulling his tooth out with fire. <laughs> Florida. Florida. Tea. I'm going to go with... Uh, Miguel yep. Sanchez. Yep. Yep. Miguel Sanchez. Yep. Miguel yep. Sanchez. I'm about that. Yep. Okay. TDP. I'll go with uh, Armenian for 200. Armenian. <laughs> They're crafty people. Crazy. Everybody's locked in. Yeah. All right. The man who believed in do-it-yourself dental was a 49-year-old Latino man Told named you. Francisco mm. Rojas. Oh, Speedy. Speedy one one. One one. Wow. Know how I knew? What? Threw up. Threw up. Threw up. Threw up. How do you know? Well, how do you know? Latinos can't handle their liquor. <laughs> they can. Sweet. They get drunk when they're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. This next story. Is from... <laughs> That's for the medical model. Sorry, my bad. We'll cover that on Thursday. Okay. This next story happened in California. Okay. A 31-year-old man who pretended to be a female prostitute before getting into a fight on the 101 freeway was hmm. arrested. Louis Dix. <laughs> oh, Another show. Suck a lot. A man agreed to pay a hooker who believed was a woman $60 for sexual acts. Mm. The prostitute agreed to the fee and then got into the John 1986 silver Nissan. 86? 1986 BMW. You still got that? <laughs> After doing the sex acts Put inside the on. Nissan, the prostitute attempted to jack more than $60 from the trick while he was driving. The two men broke into a fight that eventually <laughs> spilled out into the streets. The John had a taser stun gun and repeatedly used its device on the he-she hooker in an attempt to retrieve his cash. Get my money! Get While my money. wearing women's clothing, eyeliner, and lipstick, the hooker <laughs> fought back by beating the tricks, the trick trick with a large rock. While the two men were fighting, witnesses called 911 and deputies arrived. Both men were arrested and booked into county jail. <laughs> Who you here with, him? The boy-girl hooker was charged with prostitution, and the John was charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Yes. Guess what races? On both. <laughs> They're different. Both Guess what races? Here. So white. go for the John and the hooker. White. I'm sticking to white. White across the board. I'm sticking to white. White hooker, white John. I'm sticking to white. Okay, white folks. White. white folks do the darnest things. Okay, now, POTUS. I'm going to say white trick. White trick. Asian 
prostitutes. White trick Asian prostitutes. They mm. are small framed. Yeah. They can pass for women sometimes. Okay. All mm. right. That, Speedy. That's me. I'm gonna go for the hooker, DeAndre Johnson. Okay, black man. <laughs> for the trick, Peter Brady. Peter Brady. <laughs> White trick black hooker. Gotcha. All righty. TDP. I'm gonna go homo and sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody's locked in. Locked and loaded. Of course, the trick was a white man named Brian Oster. Thank you. And yeah. the hooker was a Mexican named <laughs> Misael Ruiz. Mexican. Mexican. They Mexican. also have small frames. That's true. Yeah. All right, yeah. next story. Small what? Frames. That ain't what you said. What did I say, Speedy? Well, let's move on. You okay. got a little attitude now. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. You ain't going to slap shit out of me. Next story. <laughs> a grandmother hit a flasher with her handbag and taunted him with the words, if you haven't got anything worth showing, then damn it, don't show it at all. Black. Mm. <laughs> the 45-year-old was on her way to pick her granddaughter up from school when a man emerged from the bushes and exposed his penis to her. Mm. She told the jury, I was two or three feet away and I noticed his genitalia facing towards me. I wasn't sh- <laughs> It was a shock. I swore to him. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> How do you think you're doing, you dirty bastard? The grandmother said that after she told the man he had nothing worth showing... He swore at her and said, hey, it's good enough for me. Asked why she made that remark, and she said, I thought belittling him would make him cover up. No I pun was, intended. I was so angry, my granddaughter could have been there. I was shocked, emotional, and angry. After swearing at him, she swung her handbag, hitting the flasher in the face. Hmm. She went to the school, where she rang the police. Guess what, Race? The flasher or the grandmother? Mm. Uh, the flasher. Okay. Flasher. Little pickle. Guess what race? Oh, I thought you were No, that's on you. Dub Dub C. C. Oh, okay. Guess what race? Who pick? was a flasher that got bitch slapped by the grandmother? <laughs> the grandmother was, um, she was European. Mm-hmm. <laughs> European final answer? European, the grandmother European. And the flasher? And the flasher was, uh, Little Weenie. <laughs> probably was cold outside. <laughs> rain is so raining. Like you know, uh, I'm going to say he was uh, Asian. <laughs> European and Asian. Asians final can't, answer. They can't shake that little penis stereotype, can they, huh? <laughs> All right, final answer. Uh, POTUS. I'm going to say white. White. Both of them? White across the board? Yeah. Okay. For obvious yeah. reasons. I'm definitely going to say uh, Granny was definitely white because she went and told. With no hesitation. Just tell me. Mm-hmm. But the way she was cussing kind of makes me think yeah, she, she was white. Yeah. She was a jinx. And she was a genital. What you say? <laughs> yeah. Genitalia. Genitalia. Gen- yeah. A man with the door stopper would have to be. Cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter. Um, God damn. I'm gonna go um, Bruce Leroy. Really? Okay. Go Bruce Leroy. Cedar. I'll go Ecuadorian and Romanian. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> All right. Well, this happened over the pond, and the man who had a little potato for a penis. Was an Englishman, and so was a woman, English person. Mm. His name was Ryan Briggs, so they were white, and they were from England. Uh, yeah, wow. white boy. Right. Yes. Oh, see on yeah. fire. All right. Dempsey right. is Bullshit. killing, killing. Okay, uh, you must let's got see. a cheat pad over there. You got a cheat pad over there? Is yeah. that four of them? <laughs> That's, That's three four. or four. Four? Oh, we got one. Okay. All right, beware if the mood has left your marriage. A judge has ruled that a 51-year-old man must pay his 47-year-old ex-wife <clears throat> damages for failing to fulfill her sexual needs for 21 years. Mm. The man was ordered to pay his wife $13,965 to compensate for a lack of sex over 21 years of marriage. There's a code that says married couples agree to share a communal life. He argued he was often tired and had health problems that prevented him from being sexually active with her, his ex. But the judge said a sexual relationship between husband and wife is the expression of affection they have for each other. And in this case, it was absent. The ruling comes... Two years after a judge said the man was solely responsible for the couple getting a divorce because of his refusal to have sex with his wife. Guess what race? Mm. Doesn't want to. <laughs> Somebody put Lou Dicks. Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, ain't they ain't black. No, they ain't black. They ain't black. No. Black guy was just cheated. Nah, yeah, yeah, they ain't black. Awesome. I mean, but I mean, I I gotta go with uh. I gotta go with European. European. I gotta European. Go any specific country? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. European. You wanna take a stab in the dark in any specific country over there? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna stick. I'm sticking to my guns. Just yeah. European. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Okay. Portis. Um, I'll say 
Asian. Mm. Damn, Asians can't get a break today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't throw them over. I'm going to hey. go uh, Ozzy and Harriet. White? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to specify the kind of white? Mm-mm. Okay, white. The fact no. that she sued, only Come white on, folks man. go, I'm going to sue my husband and get paid because he ain't fuck me. And she got money, too. But no, nah, go diggers, man. Sure. Oh, mm. that's a di- oh, my no, bad. Right. I mean, okay, then let's go with... Uh, but it's $13,000 a lot for 21 years. 13 what? That's probably all he got. She probably years. know how much you got in his account. That's true. Okay. Yeah. TDB. I'm going to go uh, South Korean. South Korean. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll go South Korean. Everybody's locked in. All right. The man who refused to give up the D was a 51-year-old French man named wow. Jean Louis. Mm. Jean Louis. You got hey, it. Dub C is on What about her? They didn't say what she, what she was. She French, too. She French, too. Yep. Hey, man. So French they, folks. What the hell? What? I said Ozzy and Harriet. Why? Yeah. I asked you specifically. He said European, and Europe, France is in Europe. Mm. I mean, you kind of got it technically, I guess. Was <laughs> 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 that had, five? She had, so she that's five. five. And then another edition of Guess, Guess What, what Race. Race. And right now, we're going to take a quick break. It's Reach Around Radio on latalklive.com. Yeah, what's up? I, I stay in my, I don't waste time. Motherfucker, what's good? Niggas be killing me with that yo, bill of Yo, time. yo, 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 we back. It's Reach Around Radio. It's your boy Speedy. I'm the poetess. It's your girl, Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. 123, Knox, baby. baby. And special guest. West Sifalia, near. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> They'll Can you someone translate that for our oh. Caucasian listeners? <laughs> <laughs> our colonizers who listen to the show. They love us too. Yeah. They have to. Mm. <laughs> Trying to buy us up. But uh, yeah, this is dope. Yeah. I'm glad you came and hung out with us, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for having me on the road. I was killing on the... Uh, love it. Made me think you got a cheat sheet over there somewhere. Mm. <laughs> Do all that. Nah, man, you already know. We, oh. never, we ain't gonna never admit to doing nothing. I can't say Hell black. No. <laughs> ain't I ain't do it. You ain't do, I ain't it. do it. And coming up in just a little bit, we're going to debut a new segment that Claudia came up with <laughs> called Squash the Beef. And we're going to have Sonia and Ursula from Flix Chicks who fell out a while ago. And we're going to see if um, we can squash the beef. But right now, Teeter. Um, a big fan of the show hit me up on Show Quando. That's S H O W Q U A N D O dot Yahoo. Dot com. Is that? It's no, no, at yahoo.com. Thank com. you. For it. Hilarious. Mm-hmm. He says, hey, TDP, just a little suggestion. Since Speedy hasn't locked in on a name for his second. <laughs> because he changes it every week. Thank right. you. And this is Ike. How about calling it, they put the um in, in down. down. And for his intro music, <laughs> Slick Rick's Children's Story. So Ike. Thank you for the suggestion, and we're going to use it, and that will be the name of Speedy Segment. You don't they put the um, um and down. down. And you don't get paid, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Reach Around Radio. Reach Around Radio. Well, the um and dumb goes to a uh, elementary school in Arizona. Suspended a 13-year-old boy for drawing a picture of a gun. Wow. <laughs> he drew a picture of a gun, oh and they suspended him for three days. Really? Yeah. Apparently, you can bring a gun to school, but you better not draw one. <laughs> well, well, so, no, wait a minute. Where was that? In Arizona. Oh, they're Arizona. very yeah, he, aggressive in that well, Was it a wait. Mexican? Cause wait, then, wait, wait, know, wait. Really wait, wait, wait. But, but in Arizona, you can carry guns, though. Right. But you can't draw them. <laughs> you can't draw them. You can't draw them. You can't draw them. No, no, no. The kid got in trouble for drawing a picture of a gun. He drew the picture of a gun. No bullets, because the dad said it didn't have no bullets on it. Wasn't no blood coming out of it. Right. Little kid just drew a little gun and some happy faces on it. Wow. <laughs> Get your motherfucking ass out of here, Pip. <laughs> no, so he got suspended for three days. And so the, no, the who's dad dumb is in that? The, the school board. The school board. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to suspend? Three days? That's serious. That's wrong. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, drawing, you know, right. the parent's upset, so he's going to sue. So, you know, white folks. I told you they get to sue on. Um, especially, especially when you have kids like yeah. that, you know, that. That really, he thirteen. You know, yeah, he could know. draw though. They probably yeah. should have sued him for the drawing. That drawing was terrible. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Anyway, uh, this is for uh, I'm done for sleeping so damn hard. Uh, a couple in New Jersey, they had the big giant swimming pool. Gotcha. The one that you uh, put the poles in, put the water in, take about five days to pour the water in. Woke you have up a swim noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Got that taken too. <laughs> Woke up the next morning and the pool and everything was gone. Wow. Wasn't no, wasn't no water on the ground, nothing. They woke up, pool was gone, a grit, two grills, some chairs, and an umbrella, and the pool. 
and they don't know how it left. In New Jersey? In New Jersey. Had to be one of the Sopranos did. <laughs> Tony Stole That's a pool? Funny as that. Stole a pool. Uh, Not no wow. little kitty blow up. Right, right. That one. And they already they had it filled, filled, with, filled water. with water. Filled with water. 100 gallons of water. Sessions a motherfucker, ain't it? Yeah. Damn. Damn. So somebody riding around right now. <laughs> with a brand new pool. Brand new pool. Wow. <laughs> I got your water pump. <laughs> <laughs> 20 year old student, young lady, uh, putting in the navigation. She's trying to find her boyfriend's house. Okay. She's driving. And navigation, her dumb ass, listening to the navigation, she stops on the railroad track because, you know, the navigation said you have reached your destination. Mm. She don't know she's at a railroad track. She hears the train coming and mm. just happens to get out the car and her car gets smashed by the wow. train. Wow. Are you serious? You got to use common sense, too. <laughs> I think her no. boyfriend was probably the voice of the navigation. <laughs> Stop the right here, honey. What I tell you, the navigational system was telling me to go. Oh, oh, it was? To the yeah, valley. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what the? Fuck? Oh, that's right, because you have to put that south and west. <laughs> but apparently, yeah, her car got smashed. She says she it just so happened she hears the train and see the lights, and she gets out, and Crazy. her car gets stolen. I wonder if she's going to try to sue the navigation company. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> still dumb, ass. Why would you get out your car just because you have you know reached what? your destination? I recommend that we get, you know, we all go in and we create like a hood navigational system. <laughs> Oh, they can talk dope. to you know the people that's like <laughs> nigga the liquor you know, store is on the corner. Yeah, you know, I like that. <laughs> nigga right right here, but if you see nigga standing out, keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop, nigga. Blood <laughs> territory. Blood territory. Yeah. Yeah. Leroy's yeah. Leroy's I'm liquor good. store has two blunts for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> We need to come up with our own. Police are now behind. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, dog. Good idea. For real. I like Somebody that. write that down. Write that down. Now, these are stories of people who call in to uh, whatever they need tech support on the computer. So, okay. these are real story. Me and Claudia. Are so, you got the transcript. So, we're going to speak them out? We're going to speak them out. Okay. So, so you're there's only way you're going to do them any little justice here. So, uh, okay. you'll be the female customer on oh. the uh, first one. You, wanna be the you don't want to be the female, Speedy? <laughs> anyway. So, what kind of computer do you have? A white one. Dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. And scene. Uh, okay, cool. Next one. Hi, this is Celine. Uh, Celine. I can't get my diskette out. <laughs> Have you tried pushing the button? Yeah, sure. It's really stuck. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound good. Um, let me make a note here. Oh, no, wait. I hadn't inserted it yet. It's still on my desk. My bad. Sorry. These are people that actually call I me. hear you, sweet. Okay, cool. <sighs> We well, have well, meetings well, before we approve these new no, segments. Po- I know Portis don't like them because she didn't write them. Anyway. <laughs> Hilarious. Tech number three. Mm-hmm. You ready? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be customer. You be tech. Mm-hmm. Force me to do this shit. Good job. <laughs> 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 Dub want to do it. He said, hell no, nah, motherfucker. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> Shout out to rehearsal, they yeah. said. Right here. Uh, I know. Aren't you going to be the tech support? No, I'm the customer. Come on, niggas. God y'all it. fucking off. This ain't my idea. All right, ready? <laughs> uh, click on the My Computer icon to the left of the screen. Your left or my left? That was an actual call. Yeah, it was actual. Can't <laughs> 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 <Huh? laughs> all be home runs. Hey, sometimes you get in where you fit in. Yeah? Yeah, he said suggested. Okay, okay that was it. We're just yeah, I don't want yeah, because chat room said wrap. I like up. to thank Ike for that suggestion because <laughs> they did put the <laughs> um in the and so did Speedy. <laughs> they did um, I thought that was dope. Real was dope. quick, I'd like to thank some of the people that have been donating to us. We just got a hundred dollar donation. Just shout them out, Claudia. I thought that was really awesome. Thank Jesse you. Lucas, shout out to you, our highest donator so far. So thank you Jay so much. Lou. Jesse mm. Lucas, uh, Jay Leah, Anthony Hayes, Eugene Woodland, Edmona Hatfields, Barbara Elias, Carol Chapman, Robert Taylor, Deborah Jones, John May, and Brian Paran. Thank you so much. And T-Dog. Oh! And T-Dog. Oh! oh. Scrambled eggs and Pam. Oh! Scrambled eggs and Pam. Thank you, y'all. Yeah, I don't Scrambled know. eggs and Pam. Scrambled eggs and Pam. My friend is really Check. a freak. Uh. <laughs> Scrambled <laughs> eggs and Pam. Y'all know the story yet? Am I good? Yes. Hey, Pam. Hey, Welcome, Pam. What's up? I'm going to jump right into it. Wait, wait, wait. We That's got a clue said. dub CN. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's up? You don't know what's right. going on. <laughs> this like, is Nikki <laughs> Pam. Nikki right. Pam is a celebrity lay down. Oh, wow. Throw this, wow. I'll throw this fucking bottle at you. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say fuck puppet, but okay. We can put on. Uh, Mickey Pam. Is, I like that better. Okay, fuck puppet. Mickey like Pam. Mickey Pam was in a girl that. group. Okay. And back she in the slept 80s back with in the, flight like, time. Flight okay. time. Uh, She's she from to, Los Angeles. She moved she to with, Minneapolis okay. to be next O'Neal. to 
Okay. Alexander O'Neill hey. yeah, to be next to <laughs> Jesse Johnson hey. and to be next to Jerome. Okay. Hey. So yeah. those are the three we know so far. <laughs> So, Nikki Pam, we came up with a segment called Scrambled Eggs and Pam. We oh, use yeah. Prince's DMSR okay. to get it cracked. We owe him. And then we let I Nikki know, Pam right? tell her story. A true Hollywood right. story. Alexander. So what? Yeah. What you got for today, uh, fuck puppet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what's wrong. Yeah. See how they do me? Yeah. I see. It's all okay, love. so to this all one, I thought about Speedy on this one because mm, it's a lot, mm. a lot about giving head. So, anyway. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys know I have some NBA player friends. Yes, you do. Um, this NBA player and a R&B uh, singer. Mm. Uh, you guys should probably kind of figure this one out. But, um, anyway, this is how they got together. They were at a party in Miami, and um, she goes up to him, to the NBA player, and says, basically, she wants Monica. to suck his dick. Monica. Wow! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm just thinking of RBA. I'm okay, a, I mean, I'm let me R- say she R- had R- this R- early R- on, but later on she was oh, yeah. just not quite there. But anyway, uh, don't say too much, Pam. I won't. Okay. So anyway, um, he goes up. To, they go oh, out wow. to the limo, and she basically sucks his dick, licks his balls, whatever. Mm. So they go Damn. back in. Great girl. And they go. They go to the. Oh, they go girl. to the his yeah. room, his hotel room. And he gets a call from another one of her friends that he had been fucking, but nobody knew about. I knew about it because he told me. But anyway, so he gets a call. He hears this girl's uh, voice on the phone, and he snatches the phone out of the R&B singer's hand. Cause he's, and she says, well, where are you to the R&B singer? And she goes, oh, I'm with the NBA player. She starts going off and calling and calling and calling and calling, like freaking out, right? So bottom line, um... She he tells me that night the reason why he ended up making her his girl for a couple of weeks, I'll mm. say that, was because she gave him hair from the back. Wow. That's now, some you gay want shit. potato people can't do that. That's some gay shit. <laughs> but no, I mean it, it actually works. I tried it. God, damn. it, 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 it works. Uh-oh. I tried it. You can do that. Speedy, what right, you think? Can. I mean, like it's doable, right? Oh, you did it for Speedy. Happy birthday. Throw that out, bitch. <laughs> No, but so like, we need to guess who. Hmm. No, I mean, you know, so basically he makes her his girl. And then so we get on the phone. The girl is calling the next the one that the one that he was screwing, who is basically has her own show also, is another celebrity. He we get on the phone with him, her. He's like, Well, she keep calling me. Just just hold on, let me call this bitch back right mm-hmm. He basically tells her, You know what this is, stay in your lane. Yeah, I fucked your friend. Oh well, bitch. And then, like a couple of days oh, later, man. I see her tweeting about how much she's so into this player. Right, right. I'm like, damn. Can we say what team? Can you say what team? Mm-mm. Nah. Not that give away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What about? But I'd rather uh, guess the girl than the. I say I was... Punky Brewster. <laughs> 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 see, she has a show now. On TV. What, what, the girl, well, the the one that he was screwing has a show now that. It's actually quite popular. L.A. basketball wise, perhaps? No. No, uh-uh. Mm. But, yeah, like I said, I'm more interested in the like head from the back. Than you guys. That's right, fascinating Pam. to me. All right, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whatever. I'm I saying, I'll hang with her. I ain't trying to get two-piece. You, you never did. <laughs> <laughs> well, no biscuit. Well, no biscuit. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you Pam's friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell, I get you Claudia's friend for free. Believe that. I know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know, right? I can't oh. wait till we go to break. <laughs> <laughs> the chat room's going crazy, actually. Yeah. Are they the guests in the see if they, who's, this name's uh, the guest? They the guessed one of the names, up. actually. They, they did? did? Yeah, they oh, did. Oh, my God. Show me right. Show me right. Show me right. I want to know, right? Oh, there. wow. <laughs> we're going to take, while we're yeah. trying to figure Sunny this out, we're like going to take a quick break. It's Reach Around Radio on LA Live, LA Talk. Live. Look back over the notes. Yep, I actually see one right, so I'm going to let that slide. <laughs> We're back. It's Reach Around Radio on LATalkLive.com. It's your boy, Speed Doggy Dog. I'm the poetess. Girl, Claudia Jordan. TDP, Mr. One, Two, Three, Knox, baby. baby. Special in studio guest. Dub C. No, you got to do the other one. Oh, which one? West Side. I got a, I got a million of them. Yeah, which yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, West Side Killer. Uh, how does it go? <laughs> <laughs> I got the album, nigga. I be trying to get it right. I can't get it to save my fucking life. What up, what up, what up, y'all? This is Dub C from the West Side. Connect gang, connect gang, bing, bing, bang. Yeah, that one right there? Yes, that one. Yeah. I need some khakis. 
<laughs> Shout out to Maya Angelo. <laughs> and plus, before we get out of here, Teeter, you got to tell us a story about how Dub oh. saved your life real quick. I met Dub C back in the 1900s as well. <laughs> Glam Slam, Prince's New Club, 333 South Boylston, downtown, the hottest club in town. So everybody's hanging out. Yep. Everybody's stumbling out the club drunk or whatever. So it's always somebody out there in front with a hot dog cart and all that. So, you know, that's for the tourists. Real players in L.A., we go to Tommy Burgers. Mm. So we all bank over the Tommy Burgers. So we all in line, Dub C with the mass circle and everything. So we clown and laughing, get our food and everything. We drunk stumble over to the little stand to eat our burger. So some weak dudes come after us and start an argument with Raul and them that work at Tommy Burgers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the the beverage dispenser is outside. So they throwing the sodas at the Migos, yada, yada, yada. So the other Migos from the other side, they come over with the hatchets and the knife and everything. So Dub C like, hey, man, we all got to get out of here for the goddamn head crushers come. So I'm drunk. It took me a minute to figure that out. I'm like, head crush? Oh, the police. <laughs> now, anybody know anything about the history of Los Angeles, that department is Rampart. Exactly. So Rampart is right around the corner. So Dub and them, they bone out. We just get right out the parking lot just in time. They jump out. They start whooping. Ass. Beating the brakes off of Beating everybody. Beating the brakes. I'm talking about, man, you can hear because we was right at the Taco Bell. Amigo, right amigo. at the court. You hear, knock, knock, knock. And nigga, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So Dub C made the call. We paid attention. He saved our lives that day. Got to. Right. Got yeah. to. It's that street instinct. Yes, sir. Mm. All right. We have a new segment we're going to try out this week. We've been talking about it since the beginning. And we finally have two people who are willing to try to squash Hilarious. the beef. All right. Oh, shit. What is it? Who is it? Sucking around yeah. knockout cannabis. First up, oh, we have two young ladies who used to do a show together called uh, Netflix. I mean, Netflix. Sorry. <laughs> Let's Wait, check. Oh, my bad. Like, my bad. Well, Speedy right. messed you up early for the Catholic. Yeah. Shout out Sorry. to rehearsal. My bad, my bad. Flick chick. Flick chick. Sorry. Netflix. Wow. Now they got to be for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, the story that I had heard was they were cool. They had a show. Everything was all good. And then a video came out with a former Foxhole personality. Who that be? Named Shanae Hall, who made Shanae some Hall controversial statements about kind of, it was kind of like gold digging and, you know, I'm not going to deal with a guy unless he buys me this and that. And the two women had two very different opinions on it, is what I hear. So, they fell out. The show is no, no longer going on. It was a hot show, too. It was a hot show. I saw, I watched it. Sports show. Yes. Sports show. They used to comment on sports. Big Laker fans, I believe. And... These two sisters now have beef. So we brought them here to Reach Around Radio to be our very first Reach Around Radio participants in Squash the Beef. Show them some love, y'all. Show them love. For being women up to even and come. how this works is, first, um, Sonia. Who's Sonia? Raise your hand. Sonia right. Everett McGee. Mm, Sonia's She's gone. a writer, producer, author from Atlanta. She's working on her upcoming film in urban horror called Held Accountable. And she's going to start off by telling her mm-hmm. side oh, of God. the story. Keep it 100. And and don't hold back. 100. Um, okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, my God. I mean, she's trying not to lie. No, 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 no. Because I'm trying to get it from the beginning. And then so you can be able to follow. Get it from the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. We have a show. Everybody know the show, The Flick Chicks. Okay, I think it was kind of like a communication thing between me and Ursula. It first started off like that. And uh, I think some things were said to me by her, which I was offended, which I felt like at the time it was a video that I did that was a part of the, the, the show that she didn't really like and maybe she didn't support and she said she didn't like it but I was up all night doing it mm. all the way to the morning miss my son play doing it I was frustrated and then the computer froze it. and then I dr- lost all the stuff and then I had to start all over again at first I was gonna quit and don't even do the show but I was trying to be a team player and did it and then after all doing that then she didn't like it and then she didn't support it then I was upset because I felt like you didn't stay up all night with me, and you didn't do it. You didn't support me, and you just criticized every little part of it. Now, that's how it started off, and then when she made some comments, then it went from there to more comments, to then we not doing the flick chicks, to then it was email sent out about personal things, 
then I really, really got upset. Then I said I was going to do a video and the video that I did was just to let the viewers know that we were not going to do the video. Now, just for the record, and mm -hmm. let me put this out there for the record for the people on Foxhole who heard the Shanae show and she's saying that she didn't have no part in it, that it was all edited. First of all, I understand she's doing her thing and all that, and um, big props to her in her book. But the records will show that I was not in the room when she did her segment. Mm. So I did not know anything that she did. The part that she came on with me was the part when I introduced her as the guest and that the Flick Chicks was no longer. When she left, I saw what she did. Yeah, I did edit it. I kind of edited maybe 90% of all the other cuss words she left out, and it was still too many cuss words left in and stuff. Okay. And who was that talking? That was, was Sonia. That was Sonia. Okay. Now we're moving on to Ursula Joyner. She's a host, actress, singer from Kansas City, recently booked a pilot called Just the Two of Us with Kenny Latimer. Wow. Uh, Ursula, and your side of the story. Well, unfortunately, it will take a couple of days. Just give us two, <laughs> give us two minute version. But, um, it was, um, you know, we did start. I came up with the idea to do the show. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, so we were doing the show, and yes, yeah, she was up all night editing the video. But Sonia, no, I'll come over there at five o'clock, and when she say we're gonna do it, and we won't shoot until five, till ten, eleven o'clock at night. And I had a busy schedule, so she would waste all this time so knowing that she have to be up all night editing the video so when she con normally i view the video before she uh post it and you know give my feedback or whatever but i had to leave because she was watching um some stupid video on youtube <laughs> wasting my time um barb something i can't remember but i was like i have to go so when she said she said i don't i don't like it but tell me what you think I told her what I thought. I didn't nip t nitpick at everything. And she got mad and started. I still got on, on Facebook uh, the, the messages from both of us. And basically she was saying, well, if you're not going to do it yourself, then you can't criticize me and all that. And I'm cool with the texting back and forth. But when you go on and put a YouTube video up, basically talking about me on the bed with guys and this and that that have nothing to do with the video, uh, truth mixed with not truth and put it on YouTube slandering my name and have Shanae there saying, you know, you, you don't let, I mean, you let guys take advantage. I mean, not pay anything for you. I said, no, I don't want guys paying anything for me because I'm not interested in them. So, you know, it just turned out to this big, to be this big thing. I was like, I'm not going to get a fight, fight back with her. Cause everybody was like, you should do a video back at her because it was, it was messy. I don't do messy things like that if we couldn't talk about it in private or whatever i'm not going to put up a youtube video on facebook she blocked me out of the emails i couldn't get in that she blocked me from facebook and this was just a public thing and i just i don't handle business that way so i walked away and i just left it alone and boom what i'm doing now was big is bigger than flicks chicks ever would have been mm. Mm. so basically this all started because of the shanae video right no 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 no, no. it was before the shanae video we mm -hmm. had we had we had words with each other but was it about that video about how no, the handle? No, no, no. So that had nothing. So I had she that part wrong. She brought Shanae in to do this video with her because she had, I had a pink slip. I guess she had fired me. Okay, so, so okay, so Sonya, you okay? You were mad at her, and then you got Shanae to do a video with no, you. No, 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 no. It didn't start off like that. First of all, the the whole point of me doing the video in the first place because. I got emails. She may not have did a video to start the the drama Watch off. Watch your tone. But what she did. <laughs> <laughs> the cake anime. <laughs> no, she might have not started a video. And I'm just going to take ownership in it. Yeah, I did the video. I, 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 I can't... I can't um, I can't be responsible for what Shanae said. Now, I had no idea, but I'm going to take ownership in. I posted it. Yeah, I edited it. But you did the video with Shanae, and you did post it, and you knew it. I did, you posted but that. that was damn. But I did it out of retaliation because I was getting emails because 
You heard she uh, was talking shit, popping no, up no, about no, you? No, no, no. She was sending emails to guys and different people that I was talking to on Facebook. Not, saying, you were, saying you were saying you were not correct. Saying that I was a gold digger and I got guys buying, paying my bills and doing different things like that. I told her that. And But Which it bill? don't Which matter. Bill? But bill I, that's what I told her. Okay, 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 but okay. These, okay. Were my, these were my, it's like people who, people who know me, know me from the industry. I've been in the industry. I did hair extensions for for um <laughs> for all kinds of different celebrities and they frequent my salon Tahaji uh, came there with her son all the time getting his Who? hair cut Taraji? Taraji. 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 Okay. yeah and um, T in there just somewhere. a list uh-huh. of a list of a lot of other people so I know these people and people I do business with so whenever we went out somewhere if somebody seen me and say hey don't worry about it, I got you you and your girl she would be like no. oh I'm not like her and I'm like what is like me no 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 a guy wants to okay, treat okay, me okay 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 we okay, only so have so you, much yeah. time Shut your show. pie hole. So, Ursula, no, 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 no. we have a few questions. We're gonna, okay. we're gonna try to get to the bottom. That, that's incorrect. But I, only thing I told her when she, we're, when we're out at a club and she's asking a guy, because I don't, I've never had to ask a guy to buy me a drink to pay for anything for me, because I'm too classy of a lady. They offer me and I say no, thank you. But I'm saying when she would say, can you buy, <laughs> come on, buy me and my friend a drink or whatever. These are I don't my get down like that. People that I know. Okay, I mean, obviously I mean, you guys are two different persons. Yeah, and but, I don't, okay. I don't. Okay, I don't, okay I don't, we get that. I don't want to be now, characterized and, like and that. Ask, um, how long have you guys known each? other just from facebook um wow oh oh eight i mean yeah we didn't have a friendship prior to that you know we we just just started off with facebook how long is that how long ago three Um, years Right, three, three years. years. Yeah, it had to three, be three years. Did you guys ago. really enjoy working with each other when you did the show together? In the beginning, yes, but then it got because I didn't have a lot of time. She was, she had nothing but time. She was working. I was. Mm, so excuse I was, me. Hold up. Speak for yourself. You were working at home or speak whatever. Me, I didn't see you punching a punch speak time for yourself. Clock. I'm Quiet a single mama. Yard. I'm a single okay. mama, and I have a child. I take him to school. I get him back home. I feed him. I cook for him. I work with him. Homework. He's an honor student. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. I don't you. have. Thank you. I do. Thank you. Okay. So. I didn't say that you wasn't no, that. You said I had a lot of time. That's not a lot so of time. We, I mean, children. I okay. you, you at home, you know. Thank you, Song. Okay. Ursula, do you have children? Yes. Okay. I have five children. Wow. Yes. Okay. Okay. You're, You're a real mother. You, yes. But at the time, they wasn't living with Watch her. Watch your tone, Sonya. So, but no, no, <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell so, you. So how do we get the, you guys back the, together? The point how do we get you guys back together? That wasn't her issue back then. Okay. Cool. Sonya, how do we yeah, get you guys I mean, back together? But I was. Is there a possibility that we can squash this beef? I mean, my thing is, I had forgot all about it. What's it, it going to she... take for you to be cool with her and her to be cool with you? I'm cool with her, but I... You no, know. you're not. Y'all ain't cool. Because the notes <laughs> no, I not. took was... I mean, we Sonya haven't seen... This is the first stuff. time I've seen her since then. Okay, so know, we... So. Okay, this is good. You guys get to both vent, and you guys both threw jabs at each other. You right. did, which is fine. I'm, I'm taking ownership. She's in denial. I'm saying I'm in that I did. Of what? I'm saying I'm I know what I did. What? Is there okay. anything about each other? Say one thing positive about each other. Give me one thing positive, Sonya, about her, about Ursula, and Ursula about Sonya. Sonya has cute makeup. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that's positive. Don't, okay. don't flip it. Okay, that's positive. That's, that's a physical thing. Can you give me a character thing that's positive about her? You don't have to make a person okay, wait, say no, nothing wait, nice about her. No, no, I want to ask her. This is part of our therapy. Damn, she checked, you're yelling at me now. God damn. Right. <laughs> trying to help y'all motherfuckers out. <laughs> About her, or just her, just her as a person. Yeah. Anything? Cause I'm she sure can, you liked her at some point. She can, a lot. She can cook good. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, see, that's okay. Beautiful. See, that was okay. We're taking babies. We're trying to take baby steps here. That's okay. All we're trying now, to, Sonya, anything so, about Ursula? Just you know? I never did not like her. Okay. Okay. But can you say something? Is there is there anything positive about her that you can say as a person, as a woman? She's funny. Okay. okay. Do you guys miss each other at all? The fans miss you. you got, the fans miss you guys. The point is the fans miss right. you guys being together. So I thought we it was good to bring you guys here. Y'all cuss each other out, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, is there any glimmer of hope that you would ever be cool again? Or is it totally unsquashable? Because it doesn't sound like they're major things. It sounds like female shit that gets out, taken out of Girl work. group syndrome. Exactly. I mean, for, I mean. I mean, y'all look way better than the Kardashians. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, my thing is. Ugh. So can, can it, we? It, it's some major trust issues now because th- there's a line that was crossed, and that was the, both, and that's the, the slander. Pub, the pub. I don't care about what you say in text message and emails, but when you put up a public video, okay, that's a crossing the line. Okay. So whatever we said, she said to me in a text message. I'm. I don't care about that. But the public video, that was a really major thing for me. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? I have kids. I have family, and they it caused this big thing on how do you think family? How do you think the fans would feel if you guys issued a video together apologizing to each other and maybe taking it from here and out? Is there is there a possibility of well, that? Well, the people that I know say I'm completely crazy for even coming here today, even they trying what? to even talk to her. Do you so. guys want to apologize? That's for very, it's well, very we did apologize. Here. I did talk with her on the phone. We did apologize. I apologize for calling Shanae. Or okay. Shanae. Calling <laughs> Shanae. <laughs> Shanae. I did call Shanae when I seen the video, and I basically told Shanae everything that she had told me about Shanae and okay. her kids. So I apologize for that because that was messy. It was the truth, but it was messy. Yeah, and so my- that... But I did apologize. I feel felt bad by doing that because I don't do things like that okay. as in retaliation. I, and I, my bad for bringing her into the story. I, I misunderstood what the right. root of the problem was. So my bad about mm-hmm. that. Okay. So I'm just trying to see if there's anything. Is there anything you guys want to say to each other? Because you know what? Black women, with all these reality shows, all we see is us fighting each other Correct. all the time. And everybody sits back, eats popcorn, and loves it. But at the end of the day, it's not helping either one of us. I'm sure there's some, there's some love there for you guys. I saw your videos, and the chemistry you guys had was amazing. It was great. And I told her even after the fight i said sonia being your friend i'm not interested in that but we can still do the show because i'm a professional we had a lot of people that support it, and she took it personal well well i don't want to well do how it. can you go number one let me just say this about me okay i embrace people and maybe that's my downfall because i need to stop saying people are my friend okay. because i don't know too many people in la that just meet somebody off of Facebook and embrace them in their house and give them the keys mm-hmm. to their Range Rover the to drive around to, to find drive your son to, to school to, to know to, get, all to look for you a job. So they got a Range Rover. My, I mean, you use my car. I have a car. I had a car. My car I car use it. Easy, no, easy. Quiet on the yard. Quiet on the yard. Stay one in school when you say that all night. My car. The name. Okay. Oh, come on. I thought we was gonna keep it 100. And that is I thought we was gonna keep it 100. I spoiled my five kids' life when I drove her car. Car. It was thought, to take her son to school because she was at. She kept, kept my car. <laughs> <laughs> I had a car. You didn't, not, you didn't, you didn't use That's hilarious. No. Oh, nah, Cut the mic like, off. Let's, a let's nigga should have brought a, a referee off. We're going to let that argument keep going. Okay, we'll <laughs> find hilarious. out what happens if we did finally get somebody to squash it. Ursula and fight. Sonya. I think we made it worse. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. I'll try, man. <laughs> So y'all ain't gonna squash it. <laughs> Doesn't okay. look like it. Hey. Every time I say something, what I'm trying to figure out is, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I'm gonna say. Sonya, what we want to know? Every what the, what time, the, every that. time I say something, this is what's funny. Every time I say something, it's a rebuttal. Like I ain't telling the truth. Not once have when she said something that I said it wasn't the truth. I owned up to what I said, okay. and, and it can't just be one person that's saying that they are the only person that's guilty of something. So Sonya, here's the question. Here's the question, of. ladies. Are are you guys gonna? Work together to bring the show back. If somebody on the air is going to pay me to do this show on TV, then I will do it. Okay. But other than that, I got too much going on right now to just to do the 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 Facebook thing. I'm I've surpassed that. Okay. Got, All right. Thank you, ladies, for coming. So is it in. is it past the point where we can't get a hug from you guys? To Can we get a just hug? get a. But see, you know. that should be genuine though. Okay, let's make it I genuine. I understand that. Come hug me. I'm sure you guys have both faked it with the man before that you cared about. <laughs> <laughs> and it made the Get relationship up, Claudia. better. I am oh an actress. No, I'm just You're an actress. You guys both had things popping. Listen, the black on black female shit is the bullshit. It really is. And I think the things that you, no one slept with each other's man. Yeah, that was shady, the little video and the insults and the emails. I understand that hurting your feelings, but it's not the end of the world. It's really not. Yeah. There's well, worse we, things that could have gone down. Yeah, respect yeah. is everything, though. It is. But yeah, you, and I feel like respect was crossed, too, on my side, too, <laughs> Ursula. And, and because you can't oh. say that you're the All only right. one that's been. Well, hopefully, a, we can get a, a them victim. back in a green room so they can. So, we uh, try to squash the beat, but they're going to keep well, on beefing. Stay <laughs> tuned yeah, next Monday where Ursula and Sonya will be in the same position arguing <laughs> over what the hell happened. <laughs> <laughs> Sonya out because I'm not the only person up here, okay? I said Sonya out. I'm not the only person up here. Yeah. You know, see what I had to do. Girl. Girl. <laughs> I said Sonya and Ursula. I said Sonya and Ursula. Next on Squash the Beef, TDP and Sonya. Because <laughs> her hair is luxurious. Well, we want to thank um, everybody for hanging out with us today. Oh, we want to thank Sonia and Ursula. I said Ursula, too. Formerly of Flix Chicks, I guess. Formerly. And this is defunct. Okay. <laughs> and we want to thank our special guest, Dub C, for yes, coming sir. through. Yes, sir. Skip, thank skip. You. Thank you, Dub. And thank you for that by. drop. How to get in touch with you, uh, Dub? Somebody uh, want to reach out to you? Oh, DubCOnline.com or at the real D-U-B-W-C. 
you contact me or just, you know, catch me in the hood shit. <laughs> Corner liquor store. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> you were a great guest. And good job yeah. at Guess What Race. You're amazing at that. <laughs> no people. <laughs> no different He's races. been around the world. Uh, yeah. It's all good. Where can they find you, Poetus? They can find me on Twitter at OG Poetus. And speaking of that, can I just tell a really quick no. story? No. Oh, yes. No. Squash your beef. Okay, I have on Google Alert the poetess. So when every anything comes in, so there was something on the internet that said DJ Swagger featuring the poetess. So okay. I had to track this guy down because that's not the poetess. I'm the poetess. Okay. So it was a little. It was a, a guy out of Mississippi named DJ Swagger, and he gladly took the poetess off his record and put the girl's real name because there's only one poetess. OG. And I've been putting work in on it for 20, over 20 years. And he was a good guy, and his name is DJ Swag out of Mississippi. And next week, um, or Thursday, I'm going to try to bring in some of his music because cool. he was a cool cat. And we'll find out who this cool poetess cat. imposter is. Little poetess. Little poetess. He said, well, sometimes she calls it so little poetess. I said, little poetess is cool, okay. but not the poetess. So. Gotcha. All right, you can catch me on. That's why I use OG, OG Poetess on Twitter. All right, this is the Speedy in the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to my boy Jay Fizzle for giving me the birthday party this weekend. It was off the chisel for shizzle. I'm getting that from uh, Dub C right there. Uh, He's writing that out for me. Uh, Dub yeah. Shizzle for shizzle. Cool. And uh, you can hit me on Facebook, which is uh, Comedian Speedy. And also, I'll be uh, one of the new hosts over at J Spot. My first night is uh, October 7th, which is a, which is a uh, Friday. And it's going to be off the chain. 10 o'clock show. So definitely come on out. All the listeners that listen to the show can get in for $10 if you come to the show. And you mentioned that you heard this on Reach Around Radio. You get in for 10 bucks. Ask me how much it is to get in. How much is it? $10. <laughs> <laughs> and check me out on Facebook at Claudia, uh, just Claudia Jordan or on Twitter at Claudia Jordan. And I want to give a shout out to William C. Barker. He was DJ Chill Will on the Fox Old Channel, but he was just let go with no explanation. So he kind of want people to support him. He's putting his mixes out there to people who don't have a subscription. Because Chill he's Will. like, listen, the way I was let go You're trying to cool. get rid of always? <laughs> and uh, just, I want to give him DJ Chill Will. He's real, he's we'll very talented. The beef always. And uh, if you want to come on over here and holler at us, you know, well, no, we have you, but <laughs> if you ever need to call in sick, we got backup. If you ever get, you know, out of control. No, but just shout out to him and keep your head up. You'll definitely land on your feet and get somewhere else because you are very talented. So uh, we support you over here at Reach Around Radio. Uh, the Bix was brought to you by Encore. Am I saying that correct? Encore. The Mix was brought to you today by Encore by DJ Always. You can catch me, TDP, at Mr. 123 Knox Baby on Twitter. Thanks, Michelle Holden, for hooking up my... Facebook page at the party, so I'm official. Um, I had a lot of friends that I try to reach out to you guys as much as I can. So keep supporting Reach Around Radio and this worthy cause. Shout out to Miracle, producer. Extraordinaire. Donald the Third, my son. DJ Always. DJ Always. And our intern, Tiffany, the Tiffany. beautiful Tiffany. Yes. She always on fire. From San Diego. And we got to shout out um, Michelle Holden, our house. publicist. <laughs> Hilarious. We out, y'all. Have a good one. Reach around so, radio. Sonia. Oh, yeah. Sonia and Ursula, thank y'all for coming in. We do appreciate it. And people visiting. Oh, Pat, Pat, what's up? Don't say, don't say nothing. Just keep it. Okay, go. Don't say Pat's here. Don't say You got work? You got work? You sick? Okay, good. Yo. We catch uh, you guys back here Thursday, Thursday 3 p.m. Talent PST Thursday. PST time. Peace. We do what we do. This West Coast is for you. All you. Chris Blood.